And we live. All right, y'all. Let's get into this. We live. Let's give a, a people a few minutes to switch on over to Turk Tallyholics. Let's see. I told you so. Ah, if you know along, I suggest you sing along. It's your boy Turk Tally, the number one no fan of the no known universe. And if you think you know somebody better than me at doing this, <laughs> uh uh, boy, stop. We are conquered over here. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, 
discuss why nobody want to come here right I want to discuss why nobody want to come here now we ain't get no prime all right y'all I want to discuss right with now with y'all what's up Vernon what's up baby hit that like button for me folks if y'all don't mind right now why don't nobody want to come coach at Florida State? If nobody give me an answer, I'll tell you why. Why don't coaches want to come uh, coach at Florida State, folks? Anybody got an answer for that? Why nobody want to come coach at Florida State? I'm waiting for a few answers before I give my answer. Real quick, why nobody want to come coach at Florida State? I'll type it in. What's up, Mike Merrick? Yeah, I'm vibing, baby. Okay, Boo. Thanks, Boo. What's up, Boo, baby? Make sure I hit that like button. Uh, Boo says because the unrealistic expectations. Correct. It's a bunch of answers that are correct for this question. It's a lot of. It's not really a correct or incorrect, but it's a lot of answers that. That makes sense. That, that that are correct. If you were a coach, we take a chance in this environment. Nope. Uh, Beats by A say because how Taggart. Yep. President A D. Yep. What's up, Donald Gelsey? What's up, baby? They expect to win right now without giving the coach time to build, right? Because you had 21 games, right? They talk, coach. For, yep. My audio's bad. Is my audio bad, y'all? Because the person that's about to hire him is about to retire. Right? The way they did tag it was ridiculous. Right? Goddamn Stoop told you we need to give him the keys to the mansion. The bad administration. Yep. High pressure. We hold coach to a high standard evidence by the Wood Tiger firing. Fair can destroy your career. Right? It ain't gonna it ain't gonna it ain't gonna destroy Willie Taggart's career because the way it was done. Uh uh. It ain't gonna destroy Taggart's career. He already probably gonna get a job at USF. And see how Tag was treated, right? Two of the people to answer to. Right. I'll tell you why. I'm going to start from the beginning. I'm going to tell you why Florida State can't get a coach. Right? Right? Now, we remember after the, uh, you hear me good? Thanks, Mike. Now, you hear, now you know, remember the beginning when, when Florida State lost to the Gators two years ago, right? 
Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, two years ago, after we lost to the Florida Gators, and had Taggart hanging from a tree, right? Now, I know the fan base, we all won. I was thinking, I was thinking about this last night. We all are one as a fan base. Yep, no recruits want to come. Yep. We all are one as fan base. So how one fan acts or a couple, we all are that person. It's all of us. So if one person puts Taggart hanging on a tree, the rest of the fan bases, the recruits, the national consensus is going to look at the Florida State fan base. So the Florida State fan base can look, can look at each other and be like, oh, that wasn't me. That's just one person. Not all of us are bad, but it don't matter. It's optics, how you look, right? Also, the FU, the FU Taggart trend. The FU Taggart trend. So you got the fans saying FU to the coach, right? And after having a trend, hashtag fire Taggart, that's fine, but FU, you dumb F and all this stuff, right? Right? FU from the stands after Willie Taggart won a game. How does that look to other coaches? Right? All right? Let's get to the fan base. Fan base fighting. He say Michael Ellis say liquor price is too much. Fan base, we fight each other over starting quarterbacks. Right? Then getting into where we should start. We ain't starting uh, uh, Hornybrook or uh, uh, Blackman because Hornybrook's, Hornybrook started because he's white. So these dumb, these dumb arguments between the fan, even when we was winning games. We had infighting between what quarterback should start, right? Right? Uh, what else? So basically, this whole, yeah, the Willie Taggart boycott. Right, boo. I, I forgot about that one. The Willie Taggart boycott. But now fans are saying we need to support this coach forever, no matter what. So stop crying if you're not happy with Mark Norvell as being the coach. This, this is what's happening right now. I'm watching. I'm watching the, the Facebook wars right now. What's up, Michael S? Right. So this coach, they say Mike Norville, shut up and support him, no matter what. We gotta let him give him time. Okay. So what? Why is this different than last time? So prepare. This fan base need to be, be prepared to be trolled because you didn't support the last one. You gonna support this one now? The most pop, the most popular player on a bad team is the backup quarterback. What's up, Pharrell? What's up, baby? Pharrell, baby, make sure you hit that like button for me, folks. Right? So, it's just support B, no blood. So now you want? I'm seeing, I'm seeing Facebook posts saying, if you ain't a Florida State fan, get out of here. If you don't support Mike Norville, you ain't happy with it, get out of here. You got to support the, the coach of the team. So now let's get out of here. But when all this trending was saying F Willie, fire Willie, all this stuff, nobody, nobody, nobody was like, we need to support. We need to stop this. Everybody was joining in. Right? What's good, Sham, y'all? What's up, no blooded? Right? Right? Now, I said this months ago. Now, some of y'all are still... Some of y'all still, um, yeah, we should we should support the coach no matter what, right? I'm gonna support the next coach no matter what. Now, some of y'all seeing the fallout of this, right? I caught this months ago. Everybody freaking out. Oh, the class tanking. Oh no, the world is ended. We can't get. It. I caught this month. Hey, can y'all turn Tally Harlicks, Simple Tribe Nation? Can y'all give me a one for that? I caught this months ago. I said the class was gonna go, go take, then not I said we probably gonna end up coaching a, uh, I mean, a, a hiring a, a lateral. I wanted Willie Taggart. Yeah, nobody, right? What's up, K Brown? <laughs> Looking for a damn coach. Michael Ed said, "Yeah, we didn't show Tiger no kind of respect as being fans." Yeah, Taggart, right? The cancel culture, right? Some y'all say the cancel culture. We need it now. We want it now, right? Now, I'm not talking. To the racist section of the uh I'm not talking to the racist section of the Florida State fan base. We know they there, right? Who cares? I hope their life sucks forever. I'm talking to the one because that section right there, they don't care about the uh program being set back a couple years because they just want they they just want a certain type of coaching. 
So they don't care. They'll they'll lie to the cows come home. So forget them. Screw them boosters. That section and them section of races. Screw them. I hope their life sucks forever. Screw them. Right? I'm talking to the to the to the good people of the fan base. Now, you could be a good fan and still um disagree. Some of y'all think the Willie Taggart firing was right. Right? And there's ones like me that's saying it was at a bad time. Right? But can you at least, the ones that say Willie Tiger should have been fired, can you at least admit a little bit that it was at a bad time and it was done wrong? You shouldn't have done it if you didn't have a coach waiting in the wings just to do a lateral move and, and be set back. Where we at? It's the reality. Yeah, of course, Rose. And that's why I did some hard because of hypocrisy. See, the Florida State fan base going to get trolled, baby. Prepare to be trolled next season. They're going to be like, hey, we 21 games. We're going to fire in 20. We still ain't winning. They're going to be trolling the hell out of this fan base. But I do like Norville, but he's set to fail, unfortunately. I think I think, I think think Norville going to be fine. I'm going to get into that. Count say I'm tripping, whatever. Michael Ellis, I'm going to support you, Norville, no matter. Of all my moonshot sales. <laughs> yeah, see, Count, there's always one, right? Norville is a proven winner of the a AAC, just like Taggart. A AAC? Taggart was winning in the American Conference with USF. Was that a proven winner? So Norvell is a proven winner. Okay. FSU is done for the next 10 years, Boo says. Very likely. It looked that way. It could be. Race stuff shouldn't be a factor, right? We the next Tennessee. Get your popcorn ready, Jeffrey says. Tegan says, got the lemonade stand fans. C-Count said, early recruiting is in two weeks. Yeah, we lost by half our class. We, we down to number uh, 22 right now. Two weeks. The class is a wash. It's over. We're not gonna. We gonna get the leftovers. FSU's the next Nebraska boost. And Michael is. Yeah, they doing it the wrong way. They didn't give him time. Right. Cal says make no sense to hold to a coach. You know, not going to keep whatever. Mike Merrick. I think that part of the fan base also was bull. Yep. Hey Mike. They'll never admit it, but they fight. You ain't got. Hey Mike. That section of the fan base ain't got to admit nothing. You can see how they acted. Hey y'all. I keep it lit. I got enough ish to make a stripper come down a pole in the split, baby. Hit that like button, baby. I keep it no blood raw. It's your first time finding this channel. My name is Turk Tally. Nice to meet you. The host with the goddamn Moses. Hit that subscribe button, that like button. I keep it lit. I keep it shining, baby. I go all, all over FSU sports. We talk about all topics uncut. This ain't no political correct show. It ain't no PC. It's all real up in the field, baby. All right, let's see. Now we got a we got a tag at hater in here, C counts, whatever. We had to go, I think. We had a good plan, but we still got to convince the coach that successful programs. Can he recruit the line of scrimmage? That is the question. And I don't know. I think they made an okay hire, but I only think if I had a choice, would I rather, rather hire Chris Peterson? We got I am speaking facts, C counts. Don't don't lie on me again. I'm speaking facts. I said tag it hanging from a tree. I ain't lie one time. I'm just speaking my opinion and I spoke facts. If you don't like it, Get your simple butt, narrow butt, bandit butt out of here. I don't play that up in here. Don't lie on me. Don't be clout chasing trying to get attention either, C counts. I'm watching. You warned. Mr. Tally said those guys went to Miami. Right! Didn't I didn't I call that? No, bloody. Didn't I call that um Didn't I call uh uh Jalen Knight was going to Miami? And I see y'all Florida State fans saying Jalen Knight ain't good now. <laughs> Hey y'all, that section of the fan base is seeing all the class taken out. We can't get a coach in that we want no splash higher. They will never admit the firing was done in a bad time. But look at how they fighting. Look how they name calling. Look how they going all berserk and crazy. That's all you need to see. They, they, they'll never admit it because they're, they're, they they got to keep their little, little illusion of reality up. And, and, and won't admit it was a mistake. But look how they act. It's hilarious. I'm sitting back just watching the fireworks laughing. I keep it real. You right, Mike Ellis. I keep it real. See, Cal said I want to take that back. Boy, get your simple butt out of here. You ain't got to be here. You ain't got to watch me. I know you don't like me. So get up out of here. It's my show, baby. It's my house. No blood. Raw. <laughs> You gonna get blocked, yo. All right. 
Thank you. Oh, thank you, Jeremy. You know, I know, fame, but you love my show. I keep it raw, baby. Think about it. Novell has to build up his recruiting prowess at FSU. That is going to take at least three years. It's going to take another two years to get that glue that town together. You're looking at five years. Right. A brand new system. A brand new system. Yeah, that's what we need. Definitely. We need to start worrying my quarterbacks and wide receivers. We need to get offensive line right and defensive line right. Right, Michael? Um, Dion says, Novell has lost three to five games every year. But that's in the AAC. Yeah, I did say that, didn't I? I said, I said it was gonna happen. I said Judd Knight was going to Miami. I said the class was gonna tank. I said, the, I said, I said everybody sit back. I'm gonna sit back. I was mad months ago when it happened, but now I'm fine. I'm over it. I cooled down. But everybody else getting mad because they they starting to see it. Did not say next year. I said next year I'm gonna troll everybody. I'm gonna sit back. And Y'all gonna see what I'm seeing. I may be months ahead, which was months ago, but y'all gonna see the class gonna fall through. It's already happening, right? Can't get a coach, <laughs> right? And we're going to be set back years. I said that right after the firing. Y'all saw it on my live stream, right? Right? You block counts. Look at y'all. Everybody say goodbye to C Counts 0860. He said he one of my supporters, but he over there hating the whole time, trying to get attention like a little hoe. I can't stand effeminate dudes. We talking real talk. And look at this, look at this whole acting. Before I block him, read his comments. He wanna be seen. He, he wanna he wanna be sitting next to me in turnt tatty light. That's what hoes do. Right? You're blocked, ho. Watch me blow up from the nosebleeds. That's what I tell everybody. Support the channel. Continue watching, ho. I know you will be. Bye. Dumbass. Alright. I don't play. This is real, man. I'm real. This ain't this ain't no real. This ain't no peace politically correct show. You can't handle the real talk. Get your punk. He probably one of the racist dudes as it is. Ain't no talent. We don't know. The, I don't know none of these people. Ho ass. I hate that fake. I hate that fake stuff. They be the pretending they like you and all. You don't like me. Look how you talking. All right. Where we at? Memphis is down. So the big elephant in the room is are the boosters FSU willing to give Norvell five wins, five years? They're going to have to, I guess, since we're going to suck at least sell cheap liquor. <laughs> Jason Creese said, Tiger has zero chance to be successful with the offensive line. Right. What's up, Turn Talent? Everybody trying to say that long face. Wait. Right, Lorenzo. Tegan, you think they'll keep Odell offensive line? As offensive line coach? I got something to tell you about that, Tegan. I, I, we're going to we get about Odell in a minute. Goodbye, Counts. Yeah, he a dummy. Don't forget to share off the little cheese for turn tally on PayPal. <laughs> Deuces. What's up, Vernon? Mr. H.A. Double is in the building. What's up, turn? What's up, H. Double? Florida State has 60 million. Yeah, I know. Champion, but you know me. Get them out of here, turn. Right. No stupid behind. All right, y'all. So as I said before, if y'all just coming in right now, I explained why. I explained why nobody wanted to come coach at Florida State. Tag it hanging. People have short memories. Tag it hanging from a tree. That's the Florida State fan base. I don't know how you try to cut that up into one person. That's a Florida State fan base. Hashtag fire coach. F coach. Uh, F you from the stands after a win in a home game. Admin going behind tag it back. Looking for new coaches, tag it found out through the through social media. Then the admin lies and said he wasn't. He tried, remember that? He said, I'm trying to hit him with uh, I would rather uh Urban Meyer get hit with a bus. Remember that? Right? So now Tiger Tag can't even work and function right at his job. He gotta look over his shoulder. Looking for the axe in the back. <laughs> That's why nobody wanna come here. FSU, you played your goddamn self. Oh, Jeff Sims gone, Tegan. Hey, hey, boo, I got something for that Odell. I got something for Odell. Watch this. I'm, I'm going to get it. I wasn't going to get into this, but I'm going to get into this. People had like Taggart took over a turnkey championship team, but actually a team that needed a rebuild, right? Norville would get five years. We had no choice. People said it was Taggart's fault because he wouldn't uh, say, say the team was rebuilding he said it was a reloading but the fans wouldn't accept that he probably was prepped to say that fsu still has football 
No Blood Raw. I'm going to tell you, No Blood. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> you all excited. I'm going to tell you. Now, when Norville takes over, it's considered a rebuild, so you get five years. Yeah, he'll probably he'll probably get his time. He'll get his time. People are fools. Ah. Jim, all right, call it turn, tell it. Go Jason on the haters. Right. Coaches know it would be hard to recruit players after recruit, see how they treat Tagger. Right. Right, right, boo. All right, now. FSU University, you played yourself. Your fans did all this, all this hashtagging and boycotting. You played yourself. You know how you played yourself? Bob Stoops laughed at you. Ha ha ha. Harbaugh. Willie Taggart is Harbaugh's little boy. Did y'all know that? Did y'all know Jim Harbaugh is like Willie Taggart's big brother? They grew up. They like. They like grew up together. Willie Taggart played for Harbaugh's dad. Willie Taggart's from the Harbaugh tree. Y'all can y'all can say Willie. Y'all can say all day. Willie Taggart can't coach. Y'all can say that all day. And it look, if you look at this, if you look at the numbers, I, I can agree with that, right? I, I'm a fair person. But <laughs> you don't think Harbaugh got pulled in the coach's ranks? You don't think Harbaugh a little mad about how they did his little brother Willie? Because you know Willie Taggart was a great football player play that made Jim Harbaugh's daddy's rich. Did at, 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 I'm going to say it again. At Western Kentucky, Willie Taggart was a great quarterback. And he made Jim Harbaugh's dad. That's why they like Willie. You see that? And you don't think Jim Harbaugh will go around telling the other coaches about he mad? Don't go there. And, and what and what the coaches do? I'm gonna read y'all comments in a minute. What the coaches do? Florida State played themselves. Why? Because Jim Franklin, uh Campbell, what they do? They use Florida State as leverage. They like, man, they bluff. They call they they call they uh Giles bluff. They like, oh, oh I might go to Florida State. No, they not. They was lying. What they was doing is they was trying to get raises and extensions. And that's what they did. Florida Florida State made six coaches rich. And the coaches weren't even going to come to Florida State. You played yourself. <laughs> Florida State played yourself. We Florida State. We can get any coach we want. No, no, uh-uh. He gone. He gone. Ain't no way Jeff Sims coming here. Uh, hold on, y'all. I'm sorry. Where well, I'm at. Do you remember when Tiger's son played? He made a proof. Harbaugh family. Right, Jeremy. Mason Heath, why the hell you think somebody wants Harbaugh? He is trash. I didn't say want Harbaugh. Listen, Mason. I didn't say nothing like that. Listen to what I said. Harbaugh has, his name has pulled. The coaches around the nation talk. Taggart is a hardball guy. I mean, hardball is a tag. Well, Taggart is a hardball guy. He's on a hardball tree. Yeah. I'm going to get on Norville. I'm going to get on Norville. Tell him, sir. We're going to get this cat 21 games. <laughs> hey, Wayne, you mean you going to get. <laughs> Wayne, you mean you going to get 21 games? Hey y'all, this this is no blooded, no blooded war dad, war mama channel on the whole goddamn web. Leave a like button, baby. We're gonna get into some great conversation today. Yeah, coaches talk, recruits talk, really dumb decision. Just wanna go back to USF and pick up the same recruit that dropped FSU. Guess Willie going to get the last laugh. Yeah, he gonna get them U USF, right? Yeah, of course. LSU is gonna kill dog. They're gonna kill Georgia. Agreed. Nobody wants to talk about the hanging dog that looked like Coach Taggart. Nobody wants to talk about that. That's the elephant in the room. How they own Coach so Norvell won't last two years. That's Yeah, that, yeah, that makes sense too. Norvell might be gone too. Yep. The next ad, man. That, yep. They probably, because you know why? Norvell might be gone after two years because they'll be able, because Florida State will be able to get a, um, a splash higher with the new, with, with the new AD and the new boosters work, working together better. Right? Yeah, that's right. The truth hurts, don't it? Don't, until FSU rebuild administration will be Tennessee. Right. About the culture tree. FSU is a laughing stock. For real, say he agreed 21 games. <laughs> Mason, you're an idiot. Harbaugh has been successful everywhere he's been. He just can't get over Ohio State. Yeah, he good. What's up, T.D. Wilson? In the building? 
Yeah, we about to make Norville rich. Hey, so that's why nobody want to come here. Florida State played themselves. Franklin Campbell, they all got extensions and raises. We made, we made six coaches rich. We got dirt going on in the, in the um, right? Dirt going on all in the, in the organization from top to bottom. Now, I'm going to read something for y'all. We going we gonna to get, Boo might, Boo might get mad. <laughs> Boo, strap yourself in. You might get mad. All right, y'all. Check this out. Because you got to realize, I got a YouTube channel. I talk to a lot of people. I got people inside Florida State. Did y'all know that? <laughs> I don't think y'all know that. I'm getting information from people that won't give it that won't give the information to War Chant. Did y'all know that? <laughs> I'm a problem. I'm a beast with it, y'all. Hit that like button. We gonna get into this. Now, boo. You might get mad at this one. <laughs> a lot of people might goddamn get mad at this. But you know what? I'm going to bring it out. Hit that like button. Hit that like button for me because I'm about to give y'all some good information here. Now. Nah. Now. Nah. <laughs> Remember Joe said <laughs> Now. Nah. I wasn't going to read this. Whitney say, come on, y'all. Racism ain't real. Hey, check this out. I wasn't gonna read this because I don't I don't like talking out my ass. Right? I don't like talking out my ass. But I'm gonna go ahead and read this. It's not it's not hundred percent facts. It's not hundred percent facts. I'm putting it out there. It's not hundred percent factual. Not yet. I don't know. I don't I don't know if it is yet. But we gonna I, I want to be the one to put this out first in case it is <laughs> in case it is I want y'all to be like we heard it on Turn Tele Channel first you feel me you feel me here we go <laughs> now did any of y'all hear about I believe y'all now I got news from days before oh really oh, I didn't know that Check this out. Have any of y'all heard of Odell retiring? Have any of y'all heard a rumor about Odell Hagens? Yeah, yeah. I'm all right with Norvell Luigi. I'm fine with that. I don't care. They can put any coach in the seat right now. We ain't got. I don't give a damn. I, I, I don't give a damn. With the, with the, the class already tanked. Like. Any coach could come here. What are you going to do with no players? That's another issue I'm going to get into, too. Oh, boy. What's up? Okay, so so any of y'all heard about the rumors of Odell might be retiring? Give me a yes or no, people. Uh, F5 yes says yes. Lorenzo says no. F5 FSU says yes. I don't know about Novell. Right, right. AAC. Right. Yes. Oh, you heard it, too. Oh, y'all heard about that. Y'all heard about that? I boost that he ain't filed no bill. Y'all also heard about I ain't speak that many. Four or five of y'all heard about Odell might be retiring. Hey, I, before I read this, I'm gonna get a few more answers. Give me yes. Oh, y'all heard about this. Oh no. No blood. Dang. It's about two out of ten people say yes. It's a lot of yeses I'm seeing in here. That's a lot of yeses. I thought I was the only one. All right. Now. Now. Y'all ready for the real news? Y'all ready for the kabooma? <laughs> I don't think y'all ready for this, folks. <laughs> I don't. Boo says great checkmate. Hey, y'all. I don't think y'all ready for this one. I ain't saying it's 100% true. But it make a lot of goddamn sense. Here we go, y'all. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Okay, here we go. Thanks for subscribing, Anthony Bailey. Y'all ready? I heard about something about the old there retiring room. I also heard a rumor as to why he's going to retire. Oh, so Wayne, Wayne know about it. Wayne Tillman know about it. Uh-oh. Hey, y'all. Y'all ain't ready for this, y'all. 
I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna read it. It's it's ju it's juicy. Wayne Tillman already know. It's juicy, baby. Oh, it's juicy. Y'all worry about Novell. It's some it's some it's some real stuff going on in Florida State right now. I'm about to read it. Hit that like button, folks. I'm waiting for them likes. <laughs> it's some good information. Y'all ready? Here we go. <laughs> Let me see. Hopefully, hopefully I got it. Hold on. Hopefully I got it saved. I know where it is, y'all. Hold on. Let me go to the page. I'm going to read it for y'all. Racist boosters. Look at Kevin. <laughs> ah, it's about to get real, folks. My name is Turk Tally. Ah, stop. Get your honey fried chicken, baby. Here we go. I just got to find it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. I just got to find it. Here we go. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready? Uh oh, Mike said he might have heard about it. Oh boy. You don't think it was true? Well, we're going to find out, ain't we? Because look, because look, Michael, one plus one is two. If I find one thing, right? If I, <laughs> Brent say, don't keep us waiting. If I find one thing and it say, oh, they're about to retire, and then I find this. Don't you think it could be some where there's smoke, there's fire? Cause Odell went just just last just last week. Odell was like ready to jump in the fire for Florida State. He ready to be the coach. He ready to do whatever for this place. Now he about to retire. What? Why would Odell retire, folks? Why would he retire? Here we go. Now this is from the reason it could be a little. It, it, I think it's. I think it's the truth. It's from the enemy fan base. But one thing he says at the end is that we will find out more. What do you say at the end? This will start coming out more through the day and tomorrow. All right. So that sounds a little. That sounds a little. You know, you got you got to pay attention to that. If somebody say, "Oh, it's gonna come out." Usually nine times out of ten, it do, don't it? Here we go! A preacher to the law! He sounds like the preacher. Preach it! Y'all ready? <laughs> Boy, I'm building up some spit. Y'all ready? Woo! Y'all ready? Okay. You ready, boo? <laughs> boo like this. Boo got a microphone with it. Mike Mitt, like he already know about it. Here we go. Thrasher. I'm going to turn out his music. Thrasher and Cockerburn, right? Y'all know it's Coburn. I call him Cockerburn. At five and seven university. So he throwing a little shade. He's probably a Gator Miami fan. He throwing a little shade at the same time, right? We're going to announce. Look at Boo. <laughs> Here we go. We are going to announce Odell Hagens as head coach on a three-year deal last Tuesday. Now, remember last Tuesday, y'all, when they set up the podium? Remember that? Remember when they set up the podium? About to make that big announcement? About the next head coach of Florida Strait? Remember that? Remember that? Remember that? Remember they was about to set it up for the next coach? Hey, rumor has it. I'm going to say rumor, but I don't think it's a rumor. It makes too much goddamn sense. Rumor has it. Odell Hagens was a going to be the next head coach of Florida goddamn state. Yeah. Is that what y'all wanted? Y'all wanted? The fans wanted that, didn't they? I didn't really want it because I like Odell. But the fans wanted it, right? It made sense. Right? Hold on, there's more. Ah, hit that like button, folks. Boy, I feel like an evil genius right now. I feel like I feel like I feel like the Joker in his pride. <laughs> well, the morning of Tuesday. Let me turn this music down again. Dang, they, 
Bang the, co the comment, the chat, the chat quiet as hell right now. What a morning of Tuesday. They were having a meeting. Let me turn on this music so I can hear me clearly. They were, they were well, the morning of Tuesday when they were supposed to announce Odell Hagen as the next head coach. With a good, they had a, they had a meeting with a good amount of boosters and other top five and seven. He's been, he's throwing shade again. A good amount of boosters and other Florida State brass to announce what they were going to do and how they would need more financial help to support to support Odell. So they met up with the boosters and the big in the big hit heavy hit of donators and asked for more financial help to hire and help Odell. Y'all with me? Let me turn on, hold on y'all. Right? Apparently, apparently, a very big booster, so I guess one, stormed in. Hold on, my computer connection. Right? Apparently, a very big booster stormed in. And began shouting. Yeah. He began shouting. A booster. And said that he is pulling. Here we go. Probably the same one. He is pulling all of his funding. And won't provide another dollar. Y'all ready? If they hire another unqualified jigger. <laughs> He didn't say, take off the J, y'all. Take off the J. He said, I'm pulling all my funding. He didn't want, Odell was going to be hired last Tuesday. Right? Right? Oh, but uh, M. Cuhans, um, Lane Kiffin, I think, was playing the game. I think he was trying to, he didn't want to come to Florida State. I think he was trying to get more money at Ole Miss. Ole Miss got their stuff going together. O Ole, Miss, Ole Miss got long money. They rich. And they got facilities. But check this out. So the booster said, I won't provide another goddamn dollar if you hire an unqualified N-word. Apparently, quite a few boosters got up and walked out as well after that guy stormed back out. Thrasher and Carburn Back out! Back out of hiring Odell! Right? Hold on. And begin scrambling again! Right where I'm at. Which led them to Norvell, which should be announced tomorrow. Odell Hagen's. Listen up, boo! Listen up, boo! Odell Hagens is now going to retire after this fiasco. Thrasher and Coburn look absolutely awful. Connery to a racist with money. Recruits? You think the recruits might have heard this? You think the recru recruits might have got a, a, whiff, a whiff of this? You think the recruits might have got a whiff of this? Because we did lose three in one shot. Um... Josh Griffiths didn't even want to uh, decommit. Did y'all read his message? He's like, man, damn. You could tell, you could tell Griffiths didn't want to uh de decommit. Could y'all tell that? Right? Apparently, recruits are dropping like flies. Right? And apparently they're about to have a good bit of players hit the transfer portal. And I got an inside guy. Because you got to remember, I talk to a lot of people. So if something passed over me on social media, I can connect it with something I heard, I saw. I talk to a lot of people. And if it, if it connects, I'm like, wait a second. That makes sense. Think about it. After y'all hear this, y'all might hear a speech by Odell in the next few days saying, uh, I love this program, but I got to retire. But this the real reason. You see that? He may not... It might, it, it's gonna it's gonna go public 
This go go public, y'all. In about a, it might go public today. It's gonna go public. Think, think, think about it. Think about it. Odell out the blue, a rumor going around. He he about to retire. Recruits dropping like flies yesterday. This came out this morning. Right? Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Yeah, it would have made sense to put Odell head coach. Odell was going to be head coach last Tuesday. And the, and the booster said, hell no. Um, adios. Like, Brandon Barnes says, wow. Well, I know that's the reason Tiger was fired. Racism with the good old boy booster club. Look at Tennessee. Right. No hot coach. Right here, cool hands. Damn. We need to get this information out there. Boo, it's going to be out there, boo. I, I, I'm putting it out right now. I'm doing my part. But it's going I, I just want to be the first one to make it start trending. I want to be like, oh man, Tur Telly said this. That's all. I just want to be the first one to put it out. It's breaking news. Breaking news. <laughs> Fire them all. Turn out how are you for the next coach? A thousand dollars a win. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> I want and need to be public so the brothers wake up. Hey, I'm, I'm putting the public right now. You do your part. Hey. hey. Don't it make too much sense? That fast, uh, that was see why we originally picked Odell. We cannot talk about Florida being racist, Lorenzo. Hey, my inside, I got an inside person. He told me, he said, wait till after the bowl game. He said, man, it's going to be players transferring out. We only got Malcolm Lamar transferring out for right now, right? He said, wait till after the bowl game. Man, if this is true, y'all going to see the, y'all going to see the results. If this is true, y'all going to see the results, folks. If this true, y'all going to see the results. You're going to see players. You already see the recruiting class dropping out. The bottom dropping out, which I already knew was going to happen. But now you're going to see transfers. Bruh, it's about to get ugly. And if this news come out. It, I mean, not, not come out. It's already come out. If this is factually true. If Odell, think, think, think about it, think about it. If Odell retires, you know, you know this got, you know it's got to be some truth in this. And think about it, how weird, how weird did they have last Tuesday? They had a coach ready to go. Everything set up, and then all of a sudden they taking it down. They taking it down, and they've been. Hey, think about it. Remember all the noise they was making? When Copper, when Copper had that speech. Oh, we gonna get a coach in. Remember that? Remember that cocky Cockerbird? How cocky he was, and how they was putting out clickbaits and rumors about who they talking to. Hey, they you ain't hear one peep in the last week, have you? You ain't heard one thing from the from Florida State about what they doing. They've been quiet as hell, haven't they? Florida State. University been quiet as hell, haven't they, about who they're going to... They've been giving you no names. It's been all speculation. You notice that? Y'all better wake up and smell the goddamn coffee. Think about it. It makes too much. I read it this morning. I'm like, wait a minute. That makes some damn sense. Oh, they about to retire, rumor. This comes out about the racist boosts don't want a black coach again. Oh, Dale. They quiet. They set up shop too. So they were about to hire somebody. Shut down. Recruits, recruit, recruits dropping all up. Like yesterday, three recruits that loved Florida State to death just left. Griffiths, Marvin, those no bloods, y'all. Josh Griffiths is a no blood through and through. You know Jeff Sims gone. Hey, Josh Griffiths is a no blood through and through, and he gone. You don't think there's some truth in this? Yeah, y'all keep living in a fairy tale land. Where we at? GQ say he not buying it. You don't have to buy it. You ain't gotta buy it. I'm just putting out information. I'm just a messenger. The Boosters administration are going to be the downfall of this once proud football program. Right? Coach Bowden is gonna leave this world scene with he yeah, built crumble, right, Wayne? Some people know why Tiger was fired except the fair. We had 200 transfer portal. A wide receiver into the tour. Yeah, I saw that McGriff. So FSU was done for good. Then never mind. Ten years. And Charles, they should have hired Lane Kiffin. 
Man, Lane Kevin wasn't gonna come here. Nobody wanna come to this. Nobody. Hey, y'all. Hey, what's his name? What's your name? Aaron Antron. Nobody wanna come here. Lane Kevin don't wanna come here. He used, he used Florida State as leverage. He wanna go to Ole Miss. Ole Miss got money long and they got their business together. He used us to get uh, Ole Miss job. He going to Ole Miss. They say he can't wait to roast the people on that die. Just thinking about it, brings tear to my War Chant damn show ain't talking about this. No, they won't. They won't. Would the nose hired Mark Rick? I don't know. Also, we hired a search for Yeah! Right, they want to uh uh. You ain't gonna hit nothing from uh War Chant about Ole Nope. They probably they probably would know about this too. I don't know. I never thought I would see that. You're right. The day after you would be in this situation. This is a really kill shot. I won't be surprised if the program folded after three reports. These reports. Right. Hey. At the end of, at the end of that, that dude that put that, he say it's gonna come out. It's gonna come out. They can't, you can't hold this. It already is coming out. See, that's what I like about the social media. They can, people wanna shut me up. They wanna shut you up. Ah, stop race baiting. Stop race baiting. You put out the race card. They wanna shut you up. When you when you see unfairness, everybody wanna shut you up. You notice that? And then when you see it, everybody see it and it's a fact. What they tell you? Uh it's just one. It's not all of us. Well though, if the one is a goddamn b Get it. I told you he ain't coming. The 
the paper saying that the Gators fail. I want to see FSU that good again. That's Marco. Boo says, appreciate the real. Thanks, Boo. Thanks, Boo. To the death of me, I'm going I'm to keep it real and give y'all the, the message. It may, hey, it could be true. It looked like, hey, don't it add up? It add up? If Odell retire, I'm going to look at it like, hmm. Why Odell retiring all of a sudden? Why, why Josh Griffiths, the biggest no blooded recruit since, since Derwin James, why he leaving all of a sudden yesterday? And his buddy's gone too. Make that make sense for me. Dion says, how I really tag it. That damn Turner stuff. Y'all are a Spanish guy. Oh, I knocked, your, I knocked my mic out. Hold on, y'all. Can y'all hear me now? Hey, tell. Can y'all hear me now? Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? I'm trying to knock my mic out. All right, y'all. Hold on. Where's mom at, y'all? Oh, she gone. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Can y'all hear me now? Oh, y'all hear me now? It's still kind of low. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Okay, thanks, thanks. All right, y'all. All right. Yeah, two hearts, don't it? Where we at? Hey, boo. Okay, y'all hear me. Good now. We hear your mic is good. We hear you. Thanks, thanks. Why don't Uncle Willie, Uncle Jose? You good. Thanks, y'all. Thanks. All right, where we at? We're putting, putting in, putting in, say Willie wasn't going to turn around things, so move on, people. All right. Putting in. History is very important. You can't move on. You can't just move on and erase history like it didn't happen. You might as well erase Jimbo Fisher's national championship. You might as well erase Jimbo Fisher because that, that, that's the that's where it started at, right? So we just forget about that and move on. Jimbo Fisher moved on because the boosters, huh? No, no. The boosters, um, yeah, the, the, the boosters realized that yeah, Jimbo was right. It's right. So why can't we talk about that? Jimbo started the tanking right when he got mad because the boosters wouldn't back him, right? When Taggart comes in, the boosters want to back him, right? So the next coach, what, they going to back him? They definitely not going to back the next. They want to back Odell, right? Obviously, he about to retire. May, I think it's true. Then you got this new coach who's unproven AAC. They going to uh, they, they gonna back that, the boosters? Please. Please, they haven't done it. We need some new boosters. We need, we need a new admin. Oh, it's not going to be fixed. Say, yeah, we have no choice. Yeah, we have no choice, but we still have a choice to speak up and be real and be fans. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do I don't know about you, but I'm gonna speak what I see. I want Florida State to win more than anybody goddamn else on this planet. My name is Turtelli, in case you haven't met me. I want Florida State to win more than anybody. And y'all telling me to shut up and not talk this about this about that? Screw that. I got a mouth. It's my soul. I can speak about whatever I want to speak about how I feel. Talk about some move on. It ain't nothing personal. I ain't going at you personally, uh, Putin in. Putting in. I'm not going at you personal, but I'm going to speak my mind. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Uncle William never lost to FIU. <laughs> All right. I don't want no veil. Man, nobody want no veil. Nobody going to. The boost not going back here. But they want, you should have got old, man. Facts. Not all of us. Boots, in order to get new boosters, we have to get more millionaires and billionaires. We need a, we need a better ad, man, I think. I think, it, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. All right, where we at? So I put that information out there. Do with it what you want. Don't believe me. But I don't care. 
I'm just putting it out there. And if it, and if it's true, and it, it's gonna be out there anyway. Oh yeah, no matter Putin is, all, it's all good. But it's not a good, it's not good for Florida State. You can't, you can't sweep that on the rug. If Odell retire, you can't sweep what happened on the rug. That's a bad look. Man, putting in the, will he let us down? Okay, the whole program. How about the whole program, top to bottom, let us down. The admin who made the hire, right? The admin made the hire. They hired Willie with the booster, right? Some of them. Then the then the coaches failed. Kendall Browse, he screwed the pooch. Coaches failed. Uh, Barnett, they all screwed up. The fans boycott. They ain't helped with the chaos. They added to the chaos. They put gasoline on the fire. Top to bottom. It ain't just one guy. A team wins championship. A team win games. Not one guy. This ain't tennis. It's organization. Top to bottom. Can a basketball team play football? Browse. Prime Tower will have a top class, five class. Yeah, he would. I already said that. They're not going to do it, though. Kids already transferring out. Right, right. So, we got 71 people. Hit that like button for me, folks. Hit that like button, folks. Hey, what I was going to say? They fired without a plan, and now we look silly. Man, we've been looking silly for five years. Four, five years. Right? Now, I see the new post. Everybody support the new coach. Right? That's fine. I'm fine with that. Oh, at CHJ, I read an article. Basically, word on the street. I'm just a messenger. It's from an opposite. It's a, from opposing fan base. They said last Tuesday, Odell was supposed to be hired as head coach. Remember when they set up the chairs and did all the painting and War Chant played stupid? They didn't know what was going on. I don't know if War Chant played stupid or not, but I don't know. I don't know how you could like miss this, right? Odell was going to be hired as coach last Tuesday. Y'all need to spread this. This is juicy. A booster came in and said no. It was a big booster too. He said, I will refuse. I will I will not put another dollar in this university if we hire up another unqualified N-word. The other boosters, I think, either I don't know if they got mad or they got offended. They stormed out. They got offended, I think. And they stormed out. So Coburn and Thrasher. Went to scrambling. They couldn't get a coach in. So they had to hire Odell. But the booster didn't want another black unqualified N-word. Quote, unquote. And the guy, this thing I read, he said, more, more news of this will come out today or tomorrow. Today, today and tomorrow, he says. If it's that's what he say. And he said, Oh, and I know you heard, I know y'all heard about Odell Higgins retiring. That's been going around. I know y'all know about most of y'all heard about this. Odell talking about think about retiring. Don't that make sense? Out of the blue, Odell, no blood it through and through, all of a sudden wanna retire. And then you see Jim Levitt. Why Jim Levitt all of a sudden just deal? Well, Jim Levitt could it could be because the new coach don't want him there. I don't know. But I'm just saying. And then you had three D commits. You had Josh Griffiths yesterday say he gone. He a no blood. We got no bloods decommitting. That's like Derwin James decommitting. That's like Jalen, ah, uh, not Jalen Ramsey, who else? Who else is no bloods that came to the university? They wanted to just play for Florida State. I know Derrick James was like a Florida State recruit since he was like 12 or something. He wanted to be in Florida State. All right, here we go. I want to be like Mark Norvell. I couldn't see that, but now as you read that, yeah, it makes sense, don't it? Uh, T. Buddy, Coach Taggart. The magic class we would have had with Willie Taggart. Yeah, number eight class would have had Willie Taggart. Don't spread something you don't know is true. Well, you don't know. You don't know if it is. You don't know if it's true or not either, Mochi. I can spread whatever I want. This is my channel. It's on social media for everybody to see. It's public information, and I'm just making it public. Just because it hurts your little feelings, your little reality, don't mean nothing to me, baby. C. H. J. Wow, right. I'm sick now, right? Yeah, y'all, y'all, this 
FSU fans like Dallas Cowboys fans fired Jason when the whole thing is Jerry. Yeah. All <laughs> right. All you have to do is look at UCLA, Nebraska, Tennessee, all doing bad, all hard at the same time. You have no hot seat for any. Wonder why that is. Right. So basically, the the race they happen. They take the program. That's how. You, that's how you know. Like people ain't really registering with a full day. Like they didn't. They didn't think firing this guy at this time and what happened like this is going to be a bad look. It's going to put you in a bad. They too worried about hating them and, and getting them out of here. The fans too, but now the fans look at her. I'm laughing at the fans. I'm on a, I'm on Facebook right now, loving it. I'm sitting back like this. Fans spit it out. I spun out three, four. Y'all saw that video I made. I spun out like three months ago. I'm fine. I knew this was coming. But fans going nuts. Oh, we losing the class. Oh, no coach wants to come here. What did you think was gonna happen? We, you, you got all the fan. Florida State fan base need this. We need, I'm going to say we, because I'm a Florida State fan. We need to be humble. Because we delusional as hell. We got the worst offensive line in the goddamn country. And you said we should win 10 games? The experts before the last this season started said we was going to win 7 games. We on track to win 7 games. Because they looked at our roster. They said this team is only good for about 7 wins. Then you got Florida State fans and boosters. We should, we should, we should have won ten games this year. What? When the last time we won ten games? Hit the like button, folks. <laughs> I'm turned. Who else keep it hot? This is that one stop war that is spot. You can't stop the goddamn top. My name is Turk Tally. If it's your first time, if it's your first time, welcome. Boy, stop! Because we unconquered over here, baby. This is the Florida State broadcast. The, not, the Miami Hurricanes come here, they respect your boy, Turk Tally. The Florida Gator fans come here, they respect your boy, Turk Tally. Why? Because I keep it real. I keep it lit. I keep it off your goddamn face. Turk Tally, y'all. Let's get it. Uh, this is going to be one of them sad stories behind Florida State. Some right, where we at? Where we at? I'm way behind. It's like Sher Gainer decommitting. Where we at? Uh, boo. No, I didn't see what Jim Levin said on his Twitter. But go ahead and tell me. I didn't see it. Go ahead and uh, share it with the folks. We all about sharing. Sharing is caring. Well, commits leave anywhere. You will pick up other commits because of the new coach. Yeah, three stars and leftovers. The early signing period is a new recruiting thing if, uh, in college football, CHJ. We ain't going to replace them dudes. We, we, we currently at number 22. Taggart had an early signing period time, and that's what saved our ass because we was number 80, and Taggart had a month to salvage the class. He had a month. This coach coming in, an uh, uh, unknown has he's I think he more I never heard this guy he's more unknown to me than Willie Taggart was I knew who Willie Taggart was I didn't know because we played him one time I didn't know who's this Norvell I don't know who this is uh well Matt he you think he gonna salvage this class with one week that's why that's why the recruits are leaving these were all early signees so all we gonna get is leftovers two stars three stars we'll be lucky to finish in the top 30 real talk <laughs> no blood. Amari Gaynor. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, Amari Gaynor is from Tallahassee. Yeah, Amari Gaynor is a no blood. That's like him decommitting. Almost. I don't... <laughs> Moonshine, 30%. We got 80 people in here. I don't know if I could blame Jimbo anymore, even though his offense is a dinosaur. Right. Would you... Yeah, me either. Uh, Lane Kiffin. Lane Kiffin was playing us. He's one of the leverage to get Ole Miss. He went... Uh, all I know, if it's true, I'll never support FSU again. I stand on principles, period. I know what you mean, boo. We lost a third of our class since Tiger got fired. Three Friday, two hit the transfer report. It's going to get worse. That's nothing. From what I heard, I got an inside person I talked to. He said, wait till after the bowl game. You're going to really see a, a, a lot of people hitting that portal. Wait till after the bowl game, he said. He said it's a bad situation. Just being it, being there. Uh, This is going to be one of them sad... Yeah, I read that. Yeah, they were forced to fire Taggart. Right, they didn't want to. Willie let no one down. The program let him down. Never had his back. Yep. 
Terry Talley, are you cutting your ties with your Chris Peterson source? Yeah, I'm probably, I'm probably gonna have to. I'm probably gonna have to let that one go, but you never know. You never know. Bro, I'm not saying you can't talk about it. I'm just saying until there's some real evidence, it's just a rumor, don't you think so? Well, it's a lot of smoke. It's a lot of smoke. And just, you say every, people say everything on social media every day, right? People say everything on social media every day. I can say whatever I want to say. I, I ran across it. It's how I feel. You could take it and do whatever you want with it. You could say it's a lie. You could see it, say it's BS. But if it comes out tomorrow or a few days that it's true, you better, you better, you better come back and apologize to me and say thank you so much for giving me this free information that that, that, that you you stay up late, you you work hard, you put all this effort in. Thank you so much, Turn Tally. That's what you need to do if this come out to be true. Uh, what's your name? Uh, 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 Mochi Boys. We should have hired LSU offensive coordinator. We need Charlie Wilson. Be uh, ace. Dion says I'd rather have less miles. Man, less miles would never come here. Where we at? It's a lot of y'all in here. I can't even keep up. FSU win. We win ten games next year. We gonna win ten games next year. Bring it to her town. Sound like a Pentecostal preacher or pastor appreciation day. I like what Memphis did today. What's up, Big Gucci? Willie still should have went JUCO for offensive line immediately after the first season. You just don't get it, do you, Putin? <laughs> it's a lot bigger issues right now going on. It's a lot bigger issues going on. <laughs> oh, this ad man. You need to look at the ad man. Tell him like it is. No blood rock. Bro, I'm not saying you can't talk about it. I already read that nonsense. Again, what more do you need? Is Scott Frost being fired? Right, right, if cool is. If cool is, they're going to ignore you all day. You speaking facts. People don't. People like living in illusion. They don't want to hear like something outside their comfort zone. <laughs> we all know that he wasn't the tech going to get a fair chance. Yep. The truth will come to light. Yep. It's going to come to light. Now, this probably is the truth coming to light. When Odell retire, you're going to be like, oh, we know why. We hear his little boo BS speech. We hear Odell Hagen's little BS speech. You're going to be like, that don't even sound right. That don't even make sense. What? FSU will not win six games next year. No good players after the draft, after the portal. We're going to be the new, we're going to be like new Miami. We're going to be the new FSU. We're going to have a bunch of portal players. We're going to have to. Which makes sense for the offensive line, but, but we're going to be in a hurt locker. Hit that like button, folks. Stay in your lane. No blood in my veins like Nova Kane. Never change. It's a turn tally thing. Cheat it, cheat it. Bang, bang, baby. <laughs> Why do racist sympathizers hate the truth? Right. I'm sorry, busy. I know you're a fan. I should have said what I did. I should have said what I did. I know you love your nose. I think we all just frustrated. I know that. I know, Jeremy. I know it's a lot of frustration. Did I not say that months ago? The Florida State fan base was going to go berserk. When the, when the class take out, see, Jeremy, I said that months ago. I don't know if you was here. I said all this was going to happen. So respect my opinions and my thoughts. I've been 100% correct pretty much through everything I've said. I said the class is going to take out. I said the coach is going to be a disaster to hire with Coburn. I pretty much said all this. I said, I said, what's his face is going to go to the hurricane, Jalen Knighton. Look where he at. I said our players are gonna get flipped to Miami and the Gators. Look what look what's happening. We'll be lucky to have a top 30 class. I don't care what coach come in here and do. Yeah, we overrated. We, we, we got overrated players. How long do you think it would take to get position coaches? Doesn't that affect recruiting? Yep. You can forget early signing day. That's that's a wrap. Heather says, see the nose hiring a coach. What's his name? Okay, what's his name? Great hire nose! <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Wilma? It stoops. <laughs> I know I laughed when you said it, Carter, before you even said it was a joke. I was already laughing. It puts that mirror in front of it, right, Lorenzo? Boo says, what comes easy last won't last long, and what lasts long won't come easy. Jim Levin Twitter as he was in that. Ooh. That mean, that mean he mad when he, when he got fired. That's what that's saying? Whoa. What? comes easy Jim Levitt said that because he liked Willie remember that everybody do what comes easy won't last long in the culture ranks everybody like him. 
And what lasts long won't come easy. I heard Browns going to Ole Miss. I wouldn't doubt it. See, how, see, see, how, you see this, you see this dysfunction. Y'all see this, this? Why Browns? Hey, if Browns going to Ole Miss, you know it's true. That means Browns running. Browns is running, y'all. If Browns go to Ole Miss, that means he's escaping something. Y'all see that? If Browns go next, he's escaping something. Because think about it. He had all the, like, like he could be prepped at Florida State to become the next head coach from what's going on, right? He could be prepped. Why he why he going to Ole Miss? Well, he could be a head coach probably at Florida State in the near future, some few, few years or so. Why he running to Ole Miss? Use your brain, folks. If that's true, use your brain. We have what adds up the old white. <laughs> if cool hands, I can't say that. <laughs> From our president to the boosters, no wonder Stan dropped FSU. We sure did. Yeah, Stan might have been. Yeah, Stan might have. Man, I don't know. It's a lot of. It's a lot of. It's a lot of scandals at Florida State. It's a lot of scandals, man. Let's mop. I think we got a good coach. Yeah. We don't know that, right? We hopefully. Yeah, Les Miles will never come here. What's up, Big Gucci? When doubt Browns goes to Ole Miss with Kiffin, they work together. Okay, maybe maybe it's nothing then. That would be bad. That would be bad. FSU will win four. White will attack it. What attack it comes to the head coach before FSU? Oh, he just read. Hey, y'all, just Jason Parker just read Matira. He already in his butt. Now I don't know it's about November, but he actually was successful in like Tiger. He's in his butt. He don't even know what we even talk about. He read. He read my, my title. All right, Jason. Yeah, I heard about Odell. I couldn't put it together. Why? But you have a perfect reason why. It's something else the person see will get no more money from them. See, it makes sense, don't it, Michael? I love FSU, but anybody with a third eye can't can write through this mess. Right? People, people closing their eyes trying to like make it go away. Willie actually built all the programs he was with. It took him three years every time, right? Norvell never built anything because it's a desperation hire. Norvell is like, oh, shoot, Florida State wants me? I don't know anything, but I'll take it. It's kind of like it's, it's a lateral hire. It's kind of like what Willie did. <laughs> I think it's worse. I think this is worse than Willie. Willie was at least in Oregon like in a – this dude is AAC. He's like in a power five school. Why we just didn't hire Deion Sanders? <laughs> ah! Boy, this is, I got to laugh so I don't go crazy. Yeah, I did. Jay, I did say that, didn't I? I said all this stuff. I've been right. And people people act like they don't see me being right over here. Like I'm just being wrong all the time when I, when I be bringing out information. I'm just bringing out information. You can hate me, hate what you see. But look at the information. Looking at me all the time. Why you bringing it out? You ain't got to say all that. Why, what? Why are you attacking a messenger? Because you don't like me? Screw you too. Oh, oh yeah. Do you like Norvell? You talking the damn truth, right? Lane Kiffin is going to Ole Miss. Nose just turned into my New York Knicks. Oh, Nor Norvell wasn't keeping Browse. Okay. I don't like Browse either. I don't like Browse. Browse and Lane Kiffin together is going to have a monstrous offense. Yeah. He'll get, yeah. And he gonna have, and he gonna have, but he know Ole Miss gonna drop the money bags though. They gonna have a backing. Yep, the boosters are the main problem. Yeah, Marvin Joseph going to the Gators. See, so now we just made the Gators and the Hurricanes better. Like I said, what's gonna happen, right? It's spreading dumpster fire. What's up, zero zero zero? We need to run around offensive spread elements. Willie didn't build anything worth memory. Little known fact: people wanted him fired. Whatever. They didn't want him fired at USF. They wanted him fired the year before that, uh, Jason. Stop with the dumb mess, man. They wanted him fired the year before, just like this year. And then next year was when he won 10 games. They didn't want to fire to that. They, they, they trying to bring him back now. But couldn't one of the reasons Mike Browns move on because he knows the next head coach won't retain him? Maybe. We need an exterminator of this cancerous program. Hell, everyone keeps saying Novell is a good coach. Well, Taggart was a good coach. So what are y'all saying? Right. Is our scandal as bad as Miami? I don't think so. Oh, they had strippers and cocaine. I don't think that's as bad as race. I don't know. 
that our myth is jumping. Yeah, you pretty much caught everything so far. Thanks, boo. That's all I try. Thanks, boo. Just have pe people ain't honest, boo. People ain't real. People just ain't real. I pretty much call all this, and people still talking mess like they know. Oh, you don't know what you talk about. I call all this. You just coming to the party the first day from Facebook. I put a link up there. Me instead of saying what's up, what you about, you over here hating the title. Like at least I've been I've been doing this for a while. I got a pedigree. The, the fact the people like booing people that's been, been here from the start they know like well turn tally pretty much everything he say bit on point came to Memphis yep maintain right 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 Mem cool hands Heather says the Memphis coach should have stayed in Memphis and keep building a strong program but he gonna make the same mistake things not better at bigger schools yeah it's more pressure do you know anything bro Dion couldn't be our head coach just have no credits whatever Jeffrey hater bell here we go. That Quinn Flowers say Willie's job at USF. Well, I guess Willie didn't recruit a kid. Right, Wade. See? That's the loser. What do they call it? Dignity of consonant, uh, co cognitive dissonance. Because they don't want to uh, admit that they're wrong. They don't want to shut up and learn something. They just want to run their mouth. That's the social media age. That's the age we in. Everybody running their mouth. I'm running my mouth, but you know what? I did a lot of goddamn homework. Y'all ain't doing homework. Y'all just scrolling down Facebook reading, it, reading stuff. I do my homework. I got two. Y'all gonna question me on it. Come in here with half. I can tell when somebody say somebody and be like, man, you talking out your ass. That ain't even true. Jay said, Lava ass, I got a lot to keep from crying. Right. But well, I guess Jamie saved. Jamie saved. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Where we at? Yeah. Yeah, Wayne. I was gonna say that too, but I don't I don't, I don't even waste my time with that nonsense no more. Sometimes I don't have the patience for that. I just move on to the next comment. I was thinking that too. I guess I guess Jameis Winston saved, saved Jimbo's job then. But I ain't gotta go, you ain't gotta go back and forth with nonsense. We gonna suck for the next at least four or five years, right, Donald? Didn't you give Taggart a chance? Look at look at Jeffrey, y'all. Like he gave Taggart a chance. I didn't say I wasn't giving him no chance. You speaking, you speaking about yourself. I didn't say I wasn't gonna get the next coach a chance. I ain't even talking about the coach yet. That's you. So you didn't give who who you didn't give a chance to. I'm floor, I'm turned tally. I support whoever the coach here. When all, when all y'all was spitting on tagging and all that stuff, I was supporting him. Just like just like it's gonna be a section of the fan base spitting on Norvell. I'm gonna support him. He'll coach the Florida State. Yeah, Jason. Yeah. Boo said Jason Parker, shut up. <laughs> he just a Facebook dude, man. He from Facebook. Man, shut up. Right, right. That's why I don't play club ball in this mess. Come on, going on behind the scenes. I don't, I don't boys club play. Yeah, I was really hoping that we got a big nah. That's right, been telling it the whole time. We ain't gonna miss H A W. We ain't get nobody here. He's a good coach. Boo, thank you for proving my point. When someone brings facts, you tell them to shut up. Jason Parker, you come in here starting mess. I'm gonna block you. Don't come in here talking mess. Elliot Williams and Tiger said Tiger suck. Fifth Drake Gaming, yeah, we gonna suck for a decade. Noville ain't about to have no stitches on his staff. Bye, Kendall. Ah! It got Kendall. Hey, Kendall lost game. Kendall lost the Boise State game. I don't care how bad the defense was. We should have put up about 50 points on him. Seriously, bro, which I could not coach. Turtle is in the know. He has inside info. He was there when Jameson stole the crab legs. Noville is not going to work, my kids. Where we at? It's not going to work before we are relevant again. Shut up, Jeffrey. Mr. H.A. Double, you just talking out your ass. You ain't even ask, you ain't even asking. Me. I can't stand when people do that. Ask ask me if I'm giving Norville a chance. Don't just throw out stupid nonsense. That's what that's what people be doing in, in this fan base that I can't stand. Ask me about myself and what I think instead of throwing around your freaking assumptions. Oh. If I, if I saw you in person, we'd probably be fighting. That's an insult. Jimbo won. Hey, Elliot, Elliot Wilson. You said that one more time, man. You said it three times. I read it and I saw it. You ain't got to keep putting that. This fan base is retarded, man. Like you trying to like you trying to piss me off. That's not pissing me off. It's not even, I'm not trying to protect him. I'm telling you what's going on. The racism is going on right now that make Odell might want to retire because of it. Because they didn't want to hire Odell big black looking behind. 
That's why they took down the stuff last week. Turn, when are you coming out with some gear so I can shut them haters down? Oh, it'll be soon. It, it won't, it, it'll probably be next season. It, it'll probably be next season. It'll be soon. I'm working, I'm just, I'm working on some things slowly. I'm gonna have merchandise out, clothing. Be, be patient, just, just stick around, it's coming. It's only my first year. I've been following the nose since 83. The reason income to this check, income is, is because turn keeps it real, tells it like it is. Thank, thanks, M. Cool Hands. Thank you for that, man. I support the football team. Michael Ayers, I know they did Odell like that. I know that Deion Sanders said, hell no, he didn't want no parts of it. I know they, I know they did Odell like that. I know, yeah, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. If that's true, yeah, Deion, hell no, Deion. They're never coming here again. Coach Taggart is a good coach. He didn't want to turn three programs around with magic. For real. Yeah, right, for real. I've been set free from war chances. I found my man turned out. Thanks, Michael. Who would you have liked to see FSU hire? I just started watching, like, the way you bring the truth about our nose. We'll get to that. We'll get to the coaching. We'll, we'll do that right now. I'm just reading these comments. I'm trying to catch up. Browns lost that Miami game as well with that suck. Yeah, he did. See? Novell might change his mind, too. <laughs> well, if Novell might just want the money, be like, screw it. He don't care. He might just come for the money. All you people who think FSU administration is great, explain how a team like Clemson, who's been good for four years, has more money, better facilities, more resources than a program who ran the ACC for 17 years. Boo said, it's pissing me off. Time to start blocking. Okay, yeah, for real, I know. I already knew today was going to be a block because people are on their butt because of what's happening. I was mad a few months ago, but you got to realize people are just like, after all the fire tagging, they were they was all happy. Right? Because of, which is stupid firing anybody in 21 months. You, you ain't got, your class gone. You gonna suck even more. But nobody can see it. They're so short-sighted. We want what we want now. We want what we want now. That's his generation. Now they're looking around. The class gone. We about to hire a dude. About to hire a lateral, a lateral move and be set back two to three more years. So the rebuild going to be about five, six years now. And they mad. And they're attacking. Like trying to attack me. For spitting the facts. <laughs> I told y'all. Didn't I tell y'all this fan base was going to be mad at me? I said this a few months ago. I said, man, this fan base is going to be mad at me. Because now the facts are coming out. Before it was like, oh, anybody could be right. Anybody could be right. We, we, Florida State might turn around or we might tank out. I said we was going to tank out. I said the class is going to tank. So everybody's like, now the facts are coming in. The tanking, the admin can't find a coach. The world, you, you can just see the dumpster fire burning. And people are like mad, attacking each other. Ah! Like Mad Max. That's all that's going on. People in their butts. And I'm sitting back here laughing. And they're telling me to stop talking. Shut up. No. 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 You, 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 you can click off the channel. <laughs> you can click off the channel. All right. Let's see. Where we at? We got support. Uh, we got support, but Norvell is definitely feel like a lateral move. All that money to fire just tag you to go out and get your fourth option from the ACC. Ridiculous, right? No plug, right? We now rule one come here, does tails. Boo says, I wish I could be with some of these people in higher. Tap face to face. Norvell can coach. I'm about to get a Norvell in a minute. I'm just catching up with y'all comments. Everything I said came to pass, right? Uh, Influence when you're buying out bad coaches' contracts with another school, proceed to give some head coach a very con bad contract. That doesn't help the situation. I want Thrasher fire, fire man, pay him 18 million. 18 million. Oh boy, here we go. Help me, I've been rocking for you since Dion. This is my high school teammate. Whatever, Michael Ayers, I got to drink. Me some Hennessy. He, you, you want some? You want some? Uh, some clout, Jeffrey? Off of my, off of my channel. Yeah, fire tag it, pay it, yeah. Jeffrey, if you know anything about football, you can see Norbert can coach. Uh, Michael Ellis, FSU administration, like a spoiler little, yep. Steve O'Neill, just saw Bob Stoops shotgunning a beer and smoking a joint. <laughs> Elliot, you're not fooling anyone. No, he's not. Moving on from Taggart right now was the wrong move. Yeah, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Ball playing in Elliot, whatever. Some of these people in here make you want to put hands on them. Yeah, they, they cowards. 
everybody everybody can say anything on uh on, on the internet. Just like uh that dude Thorn. The gospel court turn tell. Like that, like them trolls in war chat, they call us, right? They hide behind fake profiles. Anybody can say anything. Alright, you gone, Jeffrey. You suck. Your life sucks. That's why you're here smelling my armpits. Everybody say bye to Jeffrey dumb blue balls, alright? You're a hater. Your life sucks. My channel's gonna get big. You're gonna hear about me in the future. Probably next year, the coming years. And you're gonna be slapping yourself in the face. Be like, man, this turn talent keeps it real. He's big. He's a face at Florida State. And I was just a dumb idiot trying to get attention from his crowd. Bye, loser. You suck. The real fans ain't mad. Realistic fans know we in bad shape and know you telling the truth. Right. Thanks, Joshua. Man, I'm coming here from now on for my FSU News. Love the show. Thanks, Josh. Jason Parker. I agree, Elliot. Moving on from Taggart was the best decision we could make outside of hiring him in the first place. Yeah. I can I can rock with that, Jason. I don't know how people think, like, I don't want Florida State to win. I don't care. You, just, you at least got to point. You got to at least point to the ad man for making the hire. And look at what the ad man doing now. You jackasses! Not you personally, Jason, but goddamn. That just tells me you just want to be against me. That's all. I'm not stupid. Goddamn haters. Haters come in all shapes, colors, and sizes. Nobody here forcing anyone to stay here and listen to the truth. Right! Hennessy, I need something stronger than in, 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 some bud and Percocets and something. These are viral killers up in here. Yeah, because I put I put my link out on Facebook to get more people, invite more people in. So when you invite more people in, you you invite more stupidity. That's just the way. I'm, I, I knew I was gonna block some people. The last few weeks I was blocked from Facebook because for spamming. But now I'm not blocked this weekend, so I have more people in. So I knew I was gonna block some people because you got a little a lot of crybabies. They crying right now because of what's going on, right? They they, they little they little whippy boys. They can't handle the truth. Yeah, bye, Jeff. Started five years recovery plan, right? Jeffrey's old. Look at uh, look at Jeffrey the racist, y'all. He think he he th he think he's slick. He races as hell. He said I'm a joke, fool. Look at him. Look at the races, y'all. Look at him. I I know how to find him. Jeffrey Ball. Jeffrey Bell. See you, fool. Clown. Turn. Don't even acknowledge the hate. That puts a battery in their back. Yeah, I know. I just block him. What does it say about our program status that Matt Campbell would rather stay at Iowa State than coming to FSU? Right. Right! He'd rather coach at the Iowa State butt clones <laughs> than come to Iowa State? Boy, we was delusional. I, I gotta admit, I was delusional, folks. Because I was like, why don't, why don't the quarterback... We can't even get a half-decent quarterback to come from Ole Miss. What's that quarterback at Ole Miss? The dude that can run real fast. He came to Florida. We couldn't get him. We couldn't get the dude at North Carolina, Sam Howell, because of our offensive trash line. Now we can't even get. Now nah, I thought we could at least get coaches. We can't even get a coach. Jason Parker. He was contacted by other schools and hired him while the teams he coached prepared for the bowl games. No man, he's stupid. Don't even worry about him, Wayne. He gone. Matt Rule was from the AAC and turned Baylor around in three years. We would never get no dude like that. That's a splash. Deion Sanders didn't want none of this mess. Yeah, Deion ain't coming, man. I sound like Hennessy. I prefer Grand Marvin. <laughs> I think you were hot when you predicted Peterson as a new head coach. Only thing Peterson didn't, didn't like meeting with the alumni. I think you were hot. I think I, I, think I was pretty damn spot on. I thought he was going to come. Truth is being told, deal with it, right? How is Jeffrey dumbass? Oh, because I, I blocked him too late. Oh, I didn't block the dumbass. Okay, now he's blocked. Dumbass. Yeah, he blocked. He blocked. Now, here, here comes somebody clout chasing. Tom Daydon. Did you go to FSU before? What kind of question is Why are you asking me that? Who are you to even ask me my, about? Who are you to even ask me that? It's about, we're talking about sports here. I don't know you. Hater. If cool is not only Campbell of Iowa State, but Mark Stoops in Kentucky. PJ Fleck in Minnesota, not County Penn State. Mark Stoops, Kentucky. 
Yeah, they don't even want to come to Florida State from Stoops. Man, we we out to our eighth choice. Yeah, oh, it, it, oh, it's confirmed. Someone just signed the coaches. It's official. Now they want to see what he do for us. There we go. Now we can talk about him, folks. Now we can talk about Mike Norville. Now I'm gonna get into it. We gonna get into his stats. Hold on, y'all. Do a Willie tag in impersonation. <laughs> Who's Tom? Tom, I would, but your mama likes it. Your mama like when I do a Willie Taggart uh, impersonation. She like that. She do. Boo, just because the facts are there in your face and you refuse to do this easy argument for you to wrap your head around as a person. Is okay, bye, uh, Race Bader Jason. Race Bader Jason. See you, trailer trash. Bye. <laughs> Freaking morons. Hey, I already knew I was at the block. I already knew I was at the block. It was going to be a block party. I already knew, folks. I'm trying to get more people in here. That's what happened. That's what Josh Weaver always says to try to discredit your opinion if he disagrees with you. Yeah, right, right, right. All right, let's read about, uh, boy, these haters, man. I got a little following. They can't stand it. No face. Hey, Facebook and the Florida State fan base, we got a lot of haters. Every fan base got them, but on Facebook, we got a lot of haters. They don't like to see me posting my videos, trying to be, be you know, be successful. They bunch of haters, man. Yeah, right, Panama Jack. These coaches using FSU to get a new contract in the current place of employment. Right, right. That's all they're using us for. But I tell you what, comment comments dropping like gravity. Right. Hey, if this new coach, if if Odell retire, this looking true, man. About they didn't want to hire a black coach. That booster. They say the booster said that. That's why he took the. They set it up last Tuesday to hire Odell. They said we don't want another unqualified N word, and they storm and what uh, they stormed down. I don't think it was with the one booster, but he was the biggest booster, and that's why they canceled it, right? Yeah, hey, it's just be cloud chasing, Jeremy. Right? It's that one stop, one that it was spot. You know how you beat the haters, Jeremy? You keep going, you keep working, you keep rising up. That's how you do it on them. And I'm rising up. Yeah, I got Turk Tally Falls here. We ain't going nowhere. Let's see, y'all. Let's see. What's his name? Mike Norvell. White Willie Taggart. <laughs> now, I'm a, you know, you know I'm a troll and make fun. Because this fan base is new. We was going to get the splash. Big money. Bob, right? So I'm going I'm to troll him. I got to troll him. I'm going to do that. Damn, that's true. Jolly says, Trench, Norvell can coach my man, but no matter how well you can coach, you need players. Right. We ain't got no players. All right, Mark Norvell. Welcome to the dumpster show. <laughs> I'm going to support Mike Norvell, y'all. I'm going on record live. I'm going on record live. I support Mike Norvell. I supported Willie Taggart. I supported Jimmy, Jimbo Fisher. To the end. I'm going to support no matter what. If Mike Norvell... White Willie Taggart. If Mike Moore, hey, start that trending right now. Hashtag White Willie Taggart just got hired. Just to piss them off, the haters. Now, when people, if Mike Norvell go 0 and 10 next year, yeah, we lost three commits. I know. If Mike Norvell go 0 and 10 next year, I'm still gonna support him, even when the fake Fairweather fans not going to the games. Uh, hating on him. Hashtag Fire Mike Norvell. I'm still going to go to the game. Y'all know it's going to happen, right? Hey, I've been right all this time. It's going to happen. It's going to be a fire Mike Norville coming up. It's coming because the team's going to be, oh, my God. Right? Mike Norville's a head coach. Hit that like button, folks. We got a, we got a, we got a, we got our eight choice, but we got a coach. White Willie Taggart. <laughs> Oh, uh, Sam Crazy, uh, Josh Griffith. We ain't got no defensive ends. You know our defensive ends are already bad. Josh Griffith, Morvin Joseph, both beast defensive ends. Gone. Uh, who else he committed? Another good play. I forgot who else. Oh, linebacker, Ke Keyshawn Green. 
Yeah. Go, go, Mike Norvell. That can't even coach Florida. I'm glad someone stepped into the plate. This debacle. Brandon says, he, hey, big dog, love your channel. Who do you think will be the next defensive coordinator? Whoever he might know or want to bring, I don't know. A few have decommitted. All right, let's read about Mike Norvell. Any of y'all know any information about him? I know he hasn't played any really real competition. Hold on, y'all. Uh, Norvell can lose the next 15 games But the fans and boosters will never dip boycott him Probably boo Man my, my views have jumped up since the hiring FSU See, see that's the problem y'all Y'all see this Everybody look at Dylan the villain See already we already in delusion Look See that's what gets your coaches fired Dylan the villain FSU going to win the ACC championship next year We couldn't even beat Wake Forest this year We couldn't even We couldn't win We couldn't win seven games this year but we going to the ACC championship. Clemson Tigers got the number one class in the country coming in. They got the number one quarterback, the number one running back. They running circles around us recruiting. The Gators just got our, the Hurricanes probably going to pick up our best running back in our class. Just flipped them. The, the, the uh, Florida Gators about to flip some more of our players. Could be probably Josh Griffiths and a few others. But see, that's a delusion. That's a delusion. And that's why the fans go spit out next year, because of, we going to we going to win the ACC championship next year under a first year head coach. Do you guys know anything about college football? Mike Norville can coach. That's great. It's a lot of dudes that can coach. That's fine. I'm not against that. I'm gonna support him. But the. Three, four, you might as well, you want to be looking at a two, three more years of a rebuild, though. Not on ACC championship. White Willie, t Willie 2.0. Oh, you 35 and 15 overall? Eh, it's all right. That don't make no kind of sense. It do make sense, Michael. It makes sense. It means that we couldn't get the coach we wanted. But, hey, we got to support him. He might do well. Clemson is going to be better next year than they are this year. Yeah, Clemson going to be, hey, y'all, Clemson going to be better next year. Y'all should see the dude. They got the number one dual threat quarterback in the nation. They got a Justin Fields. We gonna win the AC. So we gonna win the ACC championship and Clemson got a Justin Fields clone. Do y'all know football? Clemson got, yeah, Jeremiah. Clemson got six five stars. <laughs> Dylan said we gonna blow Florida out and Miami out next year. Even though they got our class. So we gonna blow out. We gonna blow out Florida and Miami. Miami. Miami just scooped our star running back. And Florida about to flip. Oh God, they gonna flip a few of our dudes. And we gonna blow. Who? Who? who we gonna blow them out with? The transfer portal, bruh, bruh. Y'all not dealing in reality. This fan base delusional. He white Willie Taggart, Brady say. 36 17. Uh, it's, it's gonna be more. He wants to do more than coaching at this school. We need to move forward and think positive. That's cool that he can coach, but can he recruit? Boy, stop! What do you think could change this whole situation around right now? A new admin. A new admin that, that know what they're doing. That would change the whole situation. And they have plenty of guys recovering. We might, he might be able to coach, but you gotta have the horses. And yeah, we don't, we ain't gonna have horses for a while. Jordan Travis gonna start and win the Heisman. All right, what are you, 15? You, you just playing around. Mr. Dre, ain't about the stars. Look at our team, five stars be trash. Now, Clemson on another level though. Clemson can develop, and Clemson got a uh, evaluation. No, Clemson, no, Clemson, Clemson got a rolling. Uh -uh. They ain't got a. We get the four. We get the four stars. Nobody. The Alabama, Clemson. Florida. We get the four stars. Them schools typically don't want. Well, actually, Willie Tiger was out recruiting uh, Mullen. But Clemson, Bama, Georgia were all getting the four stars that. Boy, our class is gone, man. When Jeff Sims gone. Brandon said, we done. We lose a draw. No for life. 
Turtali, were you upset with me? All I said, I don't listen to Wake Up anymore because they're always so negative. Your channel is much more entertaining. No, I'm saying, no. I probably was talking to somebody else because it's a de delay. No, I wasn't. I don't upset with you. I never upset with you, man. MSU fan base has been delusional. We have no talent. No, we losing the talent to the NFL. Class is gone. You know what? The Florida State fan base need this. I need it. We all need it. We need to be humble and just enjoy the game again. See? That's what's going to happen. We ain't going to have no choice but to sit back and enjoy having a football team because we know where's the uh, expe expectations going to be low. And the fan base need that. We need low expectations. We do. I don't like losing. I'm upset about this. But fans, we so spoiled, we think it's a quick fix. We think it's a, I don't think that, but the fan base typically thinks it's a quick fix. And you know what quick fixes do? They fall apart. So now we just set back. We just tumble backwards with this. We just went a lot, we just did a lateral move. Who is this guy? What's his name? Mike, Mark, Mike Orville. We don't know who. I ain't mad though. I ain't, I was mad months ago. I knew this was coming. Dylan needs to get beat. <laughs> he did. I think he's a kid. Mike Norvell recruit class had no four stars, only three stars. How do you think I can? They can change their race perception, man. I don't know, man. I don't know, boo. <laughs> Norvell. Okay, our stars, our three stars. He can make the man can put together a great staff. Two years? Maybe. Maybe. Boo, excellent question. Right. Right, Boo. I can't answer that one. Who you think he need on staff to help his coaching staff? I don't know. He, that, that's his job. He on contract. We are the old Wake Forest. Go Gators, go to Hades. I will support the coach staff and kids on the field, but I'm really about it. Norbert wasn't anywhere close to the first choice. Yeah, he's like an eighth choice. He's a lateral move. Y'all didn't like Tiger wasn't trash. Here we go. We from Weatherford to X Lee. Who going to, we got White Willie Tag and this dude talking about some, what else? Let me look at Mike Norville's numbers. I keep losing my spot here. But we going to see, y'all. We going to see. Yeah, I have no expectations at all. I have no high expectations. Not, not, not yet. Not yet. Assistant coaches, I don't know. I don't know nothing about Norville. Let me see if I can find his record. Somebody told me 36 and 15. Let's go a little deeper. All right, so before 2019, Norvell beat teams with a combined losing record. All right. Hold on. So his eight wins in 2016 were against teams that went 41 and 57 in the AAC. 10 wins in 2017 against teams that went 48 and 76. 8 wins in 2018 against teams that went 30 and 66. And 11 wins this season against teams going 66 and 65. Now, what, what type of offense does Mike Norvell play? What type of um what type of offense Mike Norvell play? Do you think he would keep any coaches from his coaching staff? Maybe Coach Woody to help recruiting Florida. I don't know. Mike, Mike, hey, Odell might be retiring because of what, uh, what I read earlier. If that come out, that's going to be big news. If it come out that this boosters want to hire Odell last Tuesday, so why they set up everything. If y'all if y'all tune in right now to this channel for the first time, hit that like button. And if y'all tune in for the first time, I'm going to let y'all know what I came across this morning. Now, I don't know if it's 100% true, but last week, last Tuesday, they were setting up for Odell to be the next head coach. One of the boosters, one of the big top money boosters said, I don't want another unqualified, I don't want to hire another unqualified N-word. And the uh, boosters stormed out and they canceled the whole thing. And then word came out that Odell might be retiring. So if Odell retires, this might be true. And the person I, I, I read this said that it, more news should come out in the next couple days about this. So he runs a spread offense. Man, Maya wouldn't come here, Kendrick. 
Oh, spread offense. I like the spread offense. He runs the pro spread. Is it up tempo or just? Yeah, nobody knows Florida Gators are. Pro style spread offense. Okay. I, I like the spread. I always like the spread ever since the um, offense Bobby Bowden put in with Charlie Ward. That's always been my favorite offense. The spread. Like, um, they call it, what they call it? it the offense Florida State ran back in 91. To 93. What was that off? It was called the uh, Fun and Gun. Was it fun? No, that's the Florida. Is Florida Gators Fun and Gun? What was the Florida State offense called, y'all? Hey, Dylan, he might have to retire after what happened. Oh, it's not up tempo? Okay. It might work. So he runs a spread. Jimbo 2.0. Oh. Uh, but Jim, Jimbo didn't really run the. Jimbo ran the pro style. He didn't really run the spread. 92. The bottom line is we're in a lot of trouble, folks. Dabo, Sam, and Urban Meyer could put this fire out. At least not right away, they couldn't. Yeah, they couldn't. Yeah, they couldn't. Uh, Wayne Tillman, I'm behind Mark Norvell since he's a no, but let's be real. He was hanging a juggernaut. juggernaut. from Justin Fuente. Now we're about to see how good he is at the conference letters change from AAC2 to ACC. Yeah. Fast break offense? That's what it was called, the fast break? I thought it was called something else. It was called a fast break. Huh. It's been a long time. I'm wrong with that. Without confirming the name, FSU said his statement Saturday the school will introduce his next coach. Yeah, it'll be um Mike Norville. Uh, they do say he's a young offensive-minded genius. I watched the game today and wasn't all that impressed, but the quarterback they have is worse than black men in Hornybrook. Damn. Oh, they're retired and we really lose his recruiting class. Well, if he retires, we're going to lose We're gonna lose the recruiting class anyway. This, this class is not going to look anywhere the same as what it is. It was a top eight class. It's now a top 22. We might end up like 30, end up 35 or something. It's not going to be anywhere near what it looks like now. It might be a lot. We might have to go to the transfer portal. We are, we we are. Running gun. Rose, they say it's running gun. We need Memphis O line coach. <laughs> Fast break. Man, coach, hey, we had a good coach. Uh Clements. Randy Clements is a hell of a coach. He's like a top, top ten offensive line coach. We need offensive linemen. It ain't coaching. I was close. That fast break offense was awesome. Yeah, it was fun to watch. FSU, FSU ran a running gun back in 91. Top 40. Yeah, we probably be top 40, top. Oh, man. Hey, hey, Taggart saved the program. We was like number 80 when Jimbo left. But but Taggart had four months to clean it up. And he brought us to what, number 18 or something? This guy got one week. He got one week to salvage a class. See, that's what I was saying. The timing of the fire was stupid. It was stupid. Norvell's spread offense is built off the use of a traditional inline tight end to create stress for opposing defenses and set up the explosive passing game per football study. Okay. Bro, you need some gangster locks on not them white shades. I got all types of shades, man. I'm just wearing this today. It's, just a, it's a white shade day. It's different. White shade. Boy, stop! FSU run this state. Please understand why they hate. Cause Florida State name still hold that goddamn weight. Hit that like button, folks. Let me all hit the like button. We got a good crowd in here. We got a good crowd in here. Hit that like button, please. Let's get into this. Well, FSU is gonna have to play a lot of players, right? Wayne, get it, fans. I like Mullen. Was there <laughs> trench made? Any comments for sure to sign? Any comments for sure to sign? No. And I think Jeff Sims gone. I'm not 100% sure on that yet, so I'm not going to say that, that I'm, that I'm sure. But I think, in my gut, I think Sims gone. And, and also, you saw Kendall Browns recruit some quarterback, three-star. Uh, cheap goddamn liquor, baby. Get your honey fried chicken. I got my honey fried chicken right here if you want some. And cheap goddamn liquor, baby. <laughs> Let's get into this, baby. What up, Irv? Got in the building. We got 91 people watching. I'm going to do a quick breakdown. So what I talked about from the beginning is why no coaches want to come here. Why no coaches want to come here. Why we going, why we, why, why we got our eighth choice? Yeah, Georgia, I heard that. Georgia Tech. Yeah, I heard that. 
I heard that, Sims. Thanks, Alex. Now I'm gonna start from again, do a quick rundown in case just to catch everybody up, everybody up. Uh, no coaches want to come here, and I'll tell you why. It's because the hanging of Taggart on that picture from the fan base after the loss to the Gators, the FU Taggart trend. Yes, all that stuff. Everybody sees that. The coaches see that. Harbaugh didn't like that. You know, Taggart's teacher. F you to Willie Taggart from the stands. The admin didn't speak up. Nobody condemned that. Did you notice that? The dude said F Willie Taggart from the stands after we won. Admin, nobody spoke up. Nobody condemned it. Remember that? Everybody's watching us, folks. The recruits see that. Other, uh, other programs see that. They're going to use that as negative recruiting, right? Not even, not, not even talking about, about the offensive line. Then last week, Odell Higgins, they say, that's what I heard. It might, it says it's going to come out in the future, right? There is a rumor Odell Higgins might retire. There was, there was, uh, I got some information this morning saying that he was about to be the head coach last Tuesday when they set up the, the hire the coach. That was him. One of the boosters said, I'm not going, I'm not going to donate another dollar if you, if you hire one more unqualified N word. The booster stormed out, and now we're here. And Odell Higgins might be retiring, folks. Just remember, you heard it here first. Remember that. Where we at? Yeah, Sims is likely to go to Georgia Tech. Uh, Hamza, no, Hamza pulled a, um, he pulled an AC. He got an AC pull. He got a bad injury. Yeah, Hamza's done. What do you think about Charlie Strong as a new defensive coordinator? I don't know. A lot of people want him, I've heard. I'm out going to watch some of these games on now. It's depressing, though, knowing how far behind we are to these teams. Right, M. Cool Hands, we are. We're way behind. Thanks for coming. Thanks for showing up, M. M. Cool Hands. I meant to say pay, not play. FSU going to have to pay players. I say that, too. We're going to have to start cheating. After all this BS, we're going to have to start paying people. Dropping money bags like Ole Miss. We don't need to fix this defense. We need to fix with... We need to fix this defense. We want to fix it with 50 to 45 scores AZ teams are used to. Oh, God. That's horrible. Popeye's Church's Chicken. Was it a pistol? No, sir, on strong. Irv Gotti says, Wayne Tillman says the fast break offense. Norvell will fail gloriously. <laughs> hey, you can't wish that on Norvell. Hey, if he win, lose, or draw, I've still got a supporter, right? I'm going to support Novell if he go 0-10 next year, but I know the fan base won't. They already proved that. When I was supporting the last coach, the fan base boycotted him. And, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to I'm support Jimbo Fisher, but we know this fan base is is, is silly. Everyone talking culture. It's not the players. It's the culture of the admin and the boosters. That's the real mess. That's the problem. Right. Man, that's why the players can't get right because of the freaking structure, the organizational structure. Do you think Mike going to get a big boy contract? He might, might have to pay him like that because he got to protect himself. That's what Clemson is doing, dropping bags. Right. Clemson going to bust our ass for the next three, four years, man. The boosters have too much power. Everything you just said is spot on. FSU was about to feel it. I've been saying that. We about to feel it. And our fan base need to be humble. We need this. We need to be losing and supporting the team and still sticking together. We need it. We too, we got, we too arrogant and spoiled. Everybody fighting over everything. If you're not cheating, you're not trying to win. How many assistant coaches will leave? I, probably all of them. Odell might even retire. If that's true what happened last week. I won't work there. It, 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 if it's a fact, that's how they feel about me. At a university, that I put my blood and sweat, played for and everything, broke my bones and got injured and worked for them and did whatever they told of me, and they called me an unqualified N-word. I'm retiring too. Screw you. Dude gotta keep his soul about him. You gotta keep you gotta keep yourself intact and love yourself. You can't be around that. <laughs> well man. Fight, uh, of course. Fight broke out at Clemson versus Virginia. Man, Clemson go. Man, Clemson might win the whole thing again. 
Boosters, racist, son of guns, give me some cheap goddamn liquor. You think Kips and Clips and playing payers? I think most, I think a lot of, a lot of big time boot, coach, uh, they find, they find loopholes. They find loopholes. The player's gonna get paid eventually anyway. Right, in a year or so, players gonna be, be able to make money out there. Now. I don't think it's a big deal to pay players. I really don't, I really don't see it as a big deal. I never really did. White Willie Taggart, that's what we got. <laughs> This dude more proven than Willie Taggart. But what I'm going to support him. Willie is a, a decent guy. I met him here in Tampa. Hope he finds another coaching job. He has a son who supposedly is a pretty good quarterback. Yeah, he'll get another job. I wanted the fan base who support Novell. The 21 games and a losing record. Hey, they going to have no choice. They going to have no choice. I've been sports since 1987. My, Bobby went for two. I was hooked season ticket holder through the good years. Right. Bootman said F sucks. Trent, uh, heck yeah, they're playing players. How do you think Clemson became so great quickly? Well, look like they boosters know what they doing over there. Our boosters paying the five coaches instead of paying players. We paying the, the, the blow up the program. I think Odell could now get a head coaching job with another team. Maybe. Bootman trying to troll. He can't even troll right. And Zell, from what I hear, Odell won the job this time around, and word around Boosters was saying that he was unqualified in word. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. If that hey, Enzel, I'm telling you, people, people getting mad at the messenger. Odell won the job. He was about to get it too, wasn't he? He was about to get it, wasn't he? That was Odell's job, y'all! Everybody all excited about the smoke screen. We got Mike Norvell. Odell was, was supposed to be hired last Tuesday. Remember when they set it up? Remember when they set up the room? That was... I read that was supposed to be Odell's job. We gonna find... Hey, y'all. We gonna find out if this is true or not. It's gonna come out. <laughs> it's gonna come out. And if Odell retire, that's a... Hey, that's enough. That's enough for me to know it's true. If Odell leave, if he quit... And go coach somewhere else Or he retire I know it's true I know it's true I don't care what none of y'all think I know it's true what happened If Odell retire I know it's true I don't care Norville's a great hire coming from a Michigan fan Yeah, uh, yeah You can't say that man He ain't coach Power 5 You can't say that I'm not crazy I'm gonna support Norvell, but I'm not gonna jump down. He ain't coached no power five before. He an eighth goddamn choice. He's Florida State's eighth choice. I think Willie Taggart was like the second or third choice. And y'all talking about something? He, you don't know what he's gonna be. We don't know that. I hope, I hope he's the next Nick Saban. <laughs> but come on, we gotta see. Watch and see. Y'all Florida State fans are nuts. Y'all just so quick. Oh, that's not a Florida State fan. But it's just so quick. Just to jump on a dude. We don't know. Give him time. It's going to take him two years regardless. I'm going to say that again. It's going to take Norvell two years to implement his system regardless. See, when you fire your coach, you set your program back two years. Because the players have to learn the new system. It sets you back two years at least. Because he ain't going to even have a full recruiting class in yet. Two years at least to see what he can really do. Just like the last coach. You gave him a year and a half. So you ain't never see what he really can do. <laughs> we got the dumbest fan base on planet goddamn earth. We're going to we gonna have to see two years to see what this guy can do. FSU fans bad, man. I didn't realize how bad FSU fan base was until I started making a YouTube channel. Because I, I got to read through all this stuff to get the information to you. I didn't know how bad we was. How bad and jacked up and dysfunctional this fan base is. No, Miami not going to make Miami Miami going to do nothing. It's going to come out right, Tampa. If, if, if they call Odell the N-word last Tuesday when he was about to be the coach and they canceled it, that's going to come out. It's already coming out. Miami's last conversation. 
Urban came from Utah. So? So? He's not Mike, he's not Mike Norvell? We don't know what we got. We don't know. We know we all we know is we got a lateral hire and an eighth choice. That's all we know. I hope he is the next I hope he is the next Nick Saban, but I'm not ready to dive in. You might have a better chance breaking my turn. The kicker is going to be the white fans that disagree and get upset with all the racist BS. Kicker is going to be the white fans that disagree and get upset. Yeah. Yeah, I get what you're saying. It's going to be some white people mad about that. They love Odell. I feel like I told everybody a long time ago, they look at Odell as a way behavior. I, I, I can see that. I, see, I can see that. And now Odell might see that. You got to remember, Odell gave 20... Odell gave 20 years of his life. Odell gave 20 years of his blood, sweat, and tears for the man. Yes, sir. Whatever you want, sir. You want me to get in this dirt and, and, and eat it, sir? Yes, sir. We drink power aid, not Gatorade, sir. Right, sir. Yes, sir. No, sir. 20 years. Bruh, I'll be pissed. If, they talk, if, that, if that's true what they said and he found out, I would be. It would be a disgrace for me to work there anymore. I'd be a, I'd be a fool to work in Florida State if that's true. That's why I don't like, hey y'all, that's why I don't like working for people. I worked for people my whole life until I woke up and was like, you know what? I need to believe in myself and start my own goddamn business. That's the best decision I ever made in my life, working for buttholes. You should, nobody should, no, nobody should want to work for anybody, folks. You never going to get the fair shake. If you work for anybody, you never going to get the fair shake. You never going to get the money and get the success and get what you deserve. They always going to give you the crumbs. They going to get, they, they using you to ride. They using you like a horse. You should always work for yourself. That's what I'm doing. I'm an entrepreneur. I work for myself. I get up off my butt. I ain't got to get up and this is the, I'm building, right now, me talking to you, I'm building a business. This is, this is my business. This is going to be making me money in the future. And none of y'all can tell me to shut up. Why? Because I work for my goddamn self. I pay my shit. I ain't got to listen to y'all. <laughs> Florida Snake University. Bruh, if this come out, this is, this going to be, this going to be horrible if this is true. Memphis was good before Norville. Right. No, right. Memphis was already built up. Right. Where we at? <laughs> Boy, we in trouble, y'all. <laughs> Why would the administration hire a search firm to hire Odell? It's a lie about the boosters. Oh boy, here we go. Here you go, Thomas. Here we go. It's a lie. It's a lie, Thomas. Okay, we'll find out. This is last Tuesday, Thomas, when they set up the when they set up the chairs, Thomas. Stop lying to yourself. They set up the chairs last week. Remember that? And we all thought they we had our coach hired. And they took everything down. Why they take everything down, Thomas? This was before. This was before the searching firm was the searching firm was hired, Thomas. Why would they put up the coaching things, the coaching chairs, the beautiful paintings, cut the grass up, everything looking clean, and then take it down? Why is that, Thomas? Oh, answer. Riddle me that, Batman. Since you know about lies and what all the truth is, why they did that, Thomas? Answer that, Thomas. 20, not two. That's my lie. You say 20 years of rebuild? Man, yeah, we've had three new systems in the past four years that these players got to learn. They leaving, folks. I heard from a, from a source, a good one. He said, wait till after the bowl game. You're going to see, though, a lot of transfers. This is the third. This is the third. Coaching four years. Yeah, that race is everything, right? In the south. Hope he's not salt. That's all I'm saying, bro. War clown. 
Jay says Miami is not going to win the ACC until FSU and Florida win the by <laughs> Natty twice. <laughs> Norvell, oh well. Can he recruit? I don't know nothing about old Norvell, y'all. None of us do. He's a white Willie Taggart. <laughs> and that light button, folks. We still got 84 people in here. I'll probably be up here another 30 minutes. Yeah, who the hell say Gatorade? It's between him and Odell. Right. But Odell was supposed to get the job. Uh, Anzel. But you know what that is? Most of these guys are ready to spread in high school. They should be able to pick it up fast. We'll see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. After these two four, after these two to four seasons, I found out how bad his fan base really, is, especially with the racist BS. A uh, Damian, what happened, to Odell? Oh, a uh, Damian, you don't know, you didn't hear? Uh, all right, I'll catch, I'll catch a Damian up, y'all, real quick, real quick. Uh, apparently, last Tuesday, I read it, I already read it at the beginning. Uh, when they set up, remember when they set up them chairs and set up the coaching, made all pretty. We about to get a coach last Tuesday. We cut the grass and everything. Well, apparently that was supposed to be Odell get, getting hired. Odell. Odell Hankins. Right? So what happened is one of the, one of the big time boosters came in. One of the big money donators was like, I'm not donating, it, donating another dollar if we hire another unqualified in. Right? And then, but that, that was, so then the boosters walked out. Everything was canceled, right? Now we got Mike Norville. Well, the thing is, Odell Higgins, it's been a thing going around. I don't know if you heard that he's going to retire all of a sudden. So what that tells me, if he retires, I know it's true. He put 20 years in this university. And um, if he retires, I know it's true. And, uh, you know, everything been kept close to chess. Like Florida State ain't been talking about this. About who we hired and all that stuff. Uh, let's see. FSU reached out to Lane Kemp and staff. People are delusional. Man, we reached out to everybody. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, this I told you last night it was good. We gonna win the coach get the damn team. Not excited about this hire at all. Right, Nolly G, nobody is. Sounds sketchy to me, War Clown says. 26 years. Yeah, War Clown, what sounds sketchy? Do you want me to read it again? What sounds sketchy? I'll just give you the message. What sounds sketchy? I'll tell you one thing. If it come out, if 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 he come out and retire, and all, all this information comes out online on Facebook, you're going to be like, oh, a turn I heard it from Turk Tally first, ain't you? Ain't going to be sketchy no more. Didn't Odell say he was considering retired if he didn't get the FSU job? <laughs> it's gonna come out regardless, y'all. I don't. It's gonna come out. Wow, it's even more of a reason to retire then. Wow, that's disgusting that this is true. We do know we do not, and I wouldn't be surprised if we never got another five star again, and we would deserve it to happen to us. Dot Lacey says. War Clown says, read the source again. And the source was, oh Lord. Here we go, y'all. Here we go. And you better lower your tone. You on my channel, War Clown. You, you ain't running no, you ain't running no things over here. Who are you? Read the source again. You my boss? Who are you? No, wait a second. I ain't reading a goddamn thing. I don't like your tone. Let the other people, ask the other people about it. This is my goddamn channel. The South gonna rise again and my ass. <laughs> Does not read the source. Your mom ain't teach you how to have talk with manners? And the source was? I'll punch you in your nose if we was in person. <laughs> Rude ass. For y'all people, this, gener this generation, man. They should have went with Odell on a two-year contract, at least till Thrash and Coburn excited for retirement. They should have went with Odell on a two-year contract. Yeah. Hey, but hey, this is true. If this is true, yeah, about it. He about it. Yeah, he about to get. He about to get to the business. 
Irv Gotti. M. Coonheads. Lane Kiffin was hired at Ole Miss. Norville accepts job at FSU. Yeah, Lane Kiffin played us. Michael, that's great showing tonight, brothers. Gotta go till next time. Keep it lit. I keep it lit like a goddamn helicopter. <laughs> Thanks, Michael. Support the team. Support the coach. Mike Norvell's the coach. Uh, what else we got? Let's get into recruiting rankings. Let's talk about recruiting. I ain't gonna stay on. I'll probably stay on another 45 minutes. Okay, currently we rank number four in the ACC. We number four in the ACC in recruiting. We currently at number 22. I expect that to drop to at least. Yeah, we gonna drop. Yeah, that's a 99 percent chance he made those comments. Of course, Demetrius. Like, why would anybody be shocked by that? You had Willie Taggart hanging from a tree. Like, why would anybody be like, oh, I'm, I'm skeptical, mom. Goddamn skeptics. <laughs> Show me, Turk. Show me a picture. You have a recording? I'm like, what else? Why are you surprised? I mean, I mean, skept I mean, really suspicious of people that be surprised and stuff like this. Like, like it don't, it don't never happen nowhere. Y'all silly, man. Would you? Who would you like to be the head coach? Deion Sanders? Nah. <laughs> man, that shit was gone. We got Mike Norvell. Any of you that thinks racism is involved in FSU is crazy. They ain't crazy, M. Cool heads. They part of the goddamn problem. Chip Kelly, UCLA, worse. Nebraska, worse. Pruitt, all doing bad now, but no hot seat. Right, M. Who cares what the booster said? The problem did FSU been to the will of the booster who made the comment. Uh, I do care because I, I care about Odell like that. I care about Odell like that. He put his heart and soul and worked hard. And, so I do care about that. That hurts me. It do. Um, But you got to bid. If the, if the booster putting in a million dollars every month, you got to bid. If he putting in millions of dollars into your university, paying the bills, you got a bid. If somebody paying your bills, you got a bid. Are you going to be homeless? So that make that makes sense to me. They said he was a big booster. He wasn't just a regular Joe Blow giving $200, $10,000. No, he's a huge booster. They say say it this. Five and seven or six six next year. Yeah, pretty much. I don't, I don't care if we had Nick Saban come in. Every first year coach. I don't even know why I say Nick Saban like he that damn great. But you know, a successful. He's, he has a successful run going on. Him, any coach not gonna do nothing their first year. It's never happened. It's, Cause the players are learning the system on the field. They don't even know what the coaches. He he gotta learn the team. They they um they personalities. They weaknesses, they strengths. They gotta learn him, what he expect, the new practice times. Everything's in, oh, it's a, it's a start over, folks. I'm not mad, I'm over it. I was already, y'all saw me mad months ago. I already, I already know what to expect. Like, I, I'm, I, 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 I've gained acceptance now that we just gonna be bad. What's up? Uh oh, it's uh, all right. Oh, it's some customers, I think. Uh, Becca. Because I need to get it uh, for tomorrow, Wallen. She, she, is it? Oh, it's, it's Wallen. Just try and get her in. Uh, it's the same offense? Really? Oh, no. Well, maybe we'll have a mobile quarterback, Noli. I hope. I don't think we gonna get Sims though. Let's get some cracking music in here. Hold on, y'all. All right, where we at? All right. I already know you on it is with me. Yep. 
War Clown, a scary part of me is seeing who Norville is bringing in as far as assistance. What exactly has Norville done? Yeah, War Clown, I heard about that too. I heard his I heard his assistants are like trash. And these are and these are from like like Willie Taggart haters. That's what worries me. His assistants, I heard that his assistants <laughs> We in so much trouble, man. I mean, yeah, I've heard I've read around I read around that even the people that didn't like Willie Taggart and they think that we did we did everything right in firing. We did everything right in firing Willie. Even they don't like uh Norvell's assistance. We in trouble, man. I don't know what's gonna happen, folks. I, I know what's gonna happen. I know we ain't gonna win no games. I'm not worried about that though. That, that don't kill me not winning games. It, it do it do if it keeps it's been happening for four years, so it's starting to affect me. But I know that's the process. But the fans thought that we could win fast and it basically set us back. Not a rebuild. What we've been rebuilding for three years. Now it's gonna be about five or six at least. I'm sick of this, man. All right, where we at? Who are these big boosters? The, the boosters, man. The big ones. He ain't the only MF is dropping coins. All money ain't good money. Right. I know, right? But he's but he but he he owes a, a huge chunk. He is a big chunk of the pie of of of, of the money. So he, his 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 voice a little louder. It holds more weight. Yeah, no, we already know we talking for the hour. Mike Norbell. Yeah. Not a, it's not exciting. Losing recruits left and right. I know, yeah. That's what my, my wife just told me. She's like, at least you have a coach. <laughs> That's Florida. So we had we had trust the process with Jimbo. We had hashtag do something with Willie Taggart. Now we got hashtag at least we got a coach. <laughs> Florida State, y'all killing me! Hit that like button, folks. My name is Turn Tally, number one war daddy, no blood, and no goddamn universe. The first time seeing this, you, you in the one place, the only place in the whole universe where all the war dogs, war daddies, war mamas, Turn Tally, all the similar tribe, nation, dogs, goons, killer psychopaths, all congregate together and gets to breathe. Let's get into this information this goddamn evening. Where we at? At least we, hashtag, at least we got a coach. God damn it. What is Norvell accomplished? Thanks for real. Yeah, I got a birthday to go to today. I can't stay on, I can't, I, I would have stayed on here with y'all for probably seven hours a day. But my son, uh, it's my son's birthday, his first birthday. My, my littlest one. Uh, I wonder if I don't know if I do a live tomorrow. Yeah, I don't know if I should do a live on Mike Norville. I don't really care that much. I don't really care that much, man. I might not do a live tomorrow. I was I was thinking about doing a live during the coach, but we already know we we here now. Uh, Norville took over a group of five schools in Memphis that wasn't already rising. That's like Jim Gruden, Gruden taking over Tony Dungy, right? At least you have a go. At least you have a coach. <laughs> oh God, folks! Boy, this fan base is gonna lose. They goddamn. We gonna lose next year. We go. We're going to lose. I'm just being real. We're going to lose. I know that. I mean, but it doesn't hurt me like like that. But I know it's gonna hurt the fan base. They can't handle it. So where we at? Alejandro say so it's safe to say he's the booster that paid the money to buy Willie Taggart contract I was assuming that that's a, I'm assuming that I'm assuming that one he might be he must got long ass money he must got some long money he got some long money this booster thanks boo thanks uh, if cool hands thank y'all for the happy birthday wishes most of these boosts are living off their old money. I know what you're saying. <laughs> so, yeah. So, you're not surprised. <laughs> yeah, but Mac Brown's 107 years old. Lamar say, happy birthday. Thanks, man. At least I have cheap goddamn liquor. Right. All right, let me try and do a little research. I ain't do my research on this Mike Norvell. I didn't know who was going to get him 100%. So, that's why I'm not really prepared.
Yeah, it's a ladder or higher. Hold on, y'all. Oh, here you go. She did it for me. Oh, I mean him. Chris. Chris. Shout out to Chris. He's in my turn tally group. Mike Norvell. Toughest competition he has coached against as an assistant is in the Pac-12. He's 11-12 against teams with winning records. 0-7 against top 25. Sound like Willie Taggart, don't it? White Willie Taggart. Has never won the AAC. No experience building up a down program. Well, Willie Taggart had that. <laughs> he ain't even got that one. 0-3 in bowl games. 0-2 against Scott Frost. 0-4 against UCF. Recruiting classes average 3 to 4 in AAC. No Florida ties. Holy crap. Signature wins. 2016, he beat Houston, who finished unranked. 2019 Ole Miss, who finished unranked. 2019 Cincinnati, who lost 42 to nothing to Ohio State. Clemson up 31 to seven. Hey, Clemson mad, y'all. Maybe we'll win some games, Tegan say. True, but he could have really helped the program for a little while. Do a live. Somebody want me to do a live? <laughs> He won tonight. Y'all hear that? 0 and 7 against the top 25. Never won the AAC. 11 and 12 against teams with winning records. 0 and 3 in bowl games. 0 and 4 against UCF. He he averaged. He has no Florida ties in recruiting. No Florida ties. This is this is a this is a this is a desperation hire. He won the AAC championship tonight, did he? Did he? Norville ain't hurting nothing. Yeah, cause it's already hurt. He can't really. I don't think Norville could make it any worse. Norville can't make it any worse. Like I don't think he can. So he won the AAC tonight. Did he win the ACC? So, so, so uh, who said that? Uh, news for you. So he won the A. That was the AAC championship. What's that? We need to make Dion a head recruiter. I don't know if I'm coming on tomorrow. I gotta work tomorrow, y'all. Uh, Ray Fitty. I gotta work tomorrow. So I probably can't do a live tomorrow. That's why I'm doing it now. This will be my live. We, we need to make Dion the head recruit. Yeah. Nice money, nice money move for him. He won the ACC three times, really? Oh, he did. Okay. Okay. Must be real rough winning the ACC Georgia against Cincinnati. Oh God, the Bearcats. I guess I feel a little bit better because he won the AAC a few times. I guess I can. He ain't got no experience, man. Hey, but you know what? We got a coach. I'm not going to diss him. I'm not going to diss him. Now, the fans, I know the fans right now, they all happy, right? Because we in the honeymoon stage, right? You know how the honeymoon stage work? His poops, his farts smell like, like Skittles now, right? But next season start, when the real stuff happens, I already know the fans going to be ha You know it. You know what it is. So where Brown's going? I don't know, uh, Jay Gutter. What's up, Jay Gutter? Okay, they won the ACC. I feel a little better, but he has no experience in anything. It's not even a power five. But you know what? I'm not going to diss him. I'm going to wish him the best. Mike Norvell is the coach. I'm on, I'm on public record. Y'all see me on public record. I support the coach. It should be no surprises. I'm going to support no matter who they get in. But the app man need to get the hell on somewhere. Where we at? What's up, Jay Gutta? It resembles Ohio State's offense more than anything else. Thanks, Wayne. We just paid two AAC coaches to purchase of our new facility. Waste. How much they paid them? 
He was the best O-line coach in the country. He has the best O-line coach. I don't care if he got Jesus Christ. <laughs> we need to recruit our offensive line up out of there. We got, a, we got the worst offensive line in the country. If Randy Clements can't do it, Randy Clements is a top coach too. If he can't do it, no one can. I don't, I don't care about offensive line coaches. We need to get players in. Oh, so he won the AAC his first time. So that's what he got. That's a signature win, y'all. But he ain't got no experience. He ain't got no experience building a program. So he gonna be learning as he go. I wonder if he would last more than 21 games. Where we at? He was the best off. Okay, I wonder if he would last more than 21 games. I think he I think he will just because he, he probably has to. They have to this time. Uh, well, no, not necessarily because the admin, uh, Coburn's not going to be there. So they might get rid of Norville in two years maybe. Depends if he's winning. I don't think he ain't going to be winning games his first year. Hell no, not with this class coming in. Uh, Urban Meyer. I know Urban Meyer looking really good, but Urban Meyer would never. I, I ain't want Urban Meyer. I ain't that desperate. Not yet. But Urban, uh, he would he wouldn't come to Florida State. Not with this ad. Not with this ad, man. All right, all right, boo, peace, boo. I ain't gonna be on much longer anyway. I'm probably gonna be on, but about like 20 more minutes, boo. Did you see Jaden Woodby's laugh out loud comment on Instagram after she posted a new coach? Wow. What? Oh, he's gone. Jaden Woodby gone. Alex, Jaden Woodby said that? Oh, he gone. He don't even respect the coach. He gone. And Jaden Woodby been over backwards for this program. He played all the position. Put on weight. He supposed to be a safety. He playing linebacker. He might be gone. Hey, I already heard from the inside that uh, there's going to be a lot of players transferring out. Probably Willie Taggart's guys. <laughs> Boy, this fan base is going to go ballistic. <laughs> do he know when he get into a Florida State? Yeah, he probably do, but he see the dollar signs. He can actually develop players, though. It's a lot more problems than developing. That's just one, that's just one part. He has to rebuild a whole program. That's just one thing, developing. It's about 30 other things. He gonna, man, he going to have a headache. They're going to have to pay him good. How much he making? All right, peace out, Pharrell. How much they paying him? Memphis won by five, scoring the last two minutes to take the lead and held it to the last minute for the win and beat Ole Miss 15-10 this season. That's not a bad win. Ole Miss is not a bad win. Go look at it. I wonder how excited the players versus administration. Definitely did. Left a lot. What did he say? Uh oh, uh, 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 Woodby said laugh out loud is what he said on his tweet to Mike Norvell. That might mean he gone. The player, it's gonna be a lot. I think a lot of players gonna go, y'all. I really do. They're not happy. I think the players wanted Odell. And, and I bet they know about that incident. If it's true, I bet you that they know about it. So they probably made their mind up. They might have told the recruits. They all chat. The recruits might be know about it. Urban would never come to FSU. Hell no. Hey, is the contract details out of Mike Norvell? I wonder when his uh, podium speech going to be. It's on Instagram. I believe you, Alex. I believe you. It's a lot of issues going on. Uh... Oh, they gonna say how much he get paid though. That dude only make at Memphis. He was making one point eight six million. That's Taggart. He only even making as much as Taggart's buyout. He getting paid one point eight six million dollars. He only getting paid one point eight six million. That's why he coming to Florida State. He only making one point eight a year. He probably gonna make about six million a year here. He might get about six. Fans was mad. Check this out, y'all. This is why I'm going to be laughing. I'm going to be trolling. Fans was mad about Willie Tiger making $5 million a year and losing. And I said, didn't I say this? I said, if you're going to get another coach in here, he's going to be making seven, six, seven million. He's going to be a, a no name making six or seven with a huge buyout and losing games. 
I'm gonna be laughing. I ain't gonna be mad. At least he won't have to worry about his hair growing gray with all the stress because it already because you already has right. M. Cool hands. Memphis offense ranks eighth in the nation. Just say it will be six years of press will be tomorrow. Oh, so we're, so he's a good offensive coordinator. So yeah, it'll be about five six years before we back. So it'll be like if you got you got to count back from two thousand and damn. We basically just wasted a whole year this season. We wasted all the progress we made. We wasted it. So 2017 is when it started, right? 17, 18, 19, 20, which is next season. So about, yeah, six years. If cool heads, you hit it right on the nose. Six years, yep. Six-year rebuild. So now we got to wait about another two. Yeah, at least another we gotta wait. We go, Florida State ain't gonna be relevant for about the next two to three years. <sighs> he was making 1.86. Oh, tomorrow at noon. Oh, thanks, Noli G. He was making 1.86 million a year with the 500k buyout at Memphis. Damn, that's nothing. That's that's chump change. He he gonna be he rich now. What incident? Ah. Everybody new to the incident. <laughs> All right. I came across some news this morning, right? And what I read, I'm not saying it's 100% factual, but it do make a whole lot of goddamn sense. Last Tuesday, remember, uh, who am I talking to? News for you. Remember last week when they set up the coach, the, the hire the new coach? Uh, well, apparently that new coach was going to be Odell Higgins. When they set up Cut the Grass, remember all that? And then they, they uh, what happened was, remember it got, it got canceled, nobody knew what happened. Well, apparently they were going to hire Odell Hagen. And what happened, a booster, they, the, uh, Coburn and uh, Thrasher met with the boosters and the big, the, the heavy hitters. The brass, they call them. And one of the boosters, one of the biggest ones, was like, I'm not donating another dollar if you hire, this, if you hire another unqualified N-word. So apparently the meeting was broke up, the other boosters stormed out whatever they canceled it and now word come out that Odell Higgins might be retiring all of a sudden so that gives credence to that I just found I just found out about that this morning and at the end of, at, at the end of this news oh not news article but it's from a person from the at the end of this because it's starting to spread y'all probably gonna see it now it's probably gonna be going viral and apparently in the next day he says more. He says the person that says pretty confidently. I don't know. I say it's hundred percent true, but he does say more news will come out about this in the coming days. More will come out. So we gonna see. And it's it's kind of weird that yesterday we lost three D commitments in like thirty minutes. So we gonna see if this is true. We gonna find out. I'm just a messenger. I want my channel just to put out put out real stuff. Real talk. This ain't no PC channel. <clears throat> so, will he keep Browns? I don't think so. If the players lead, they lead. Nothing we can do about it but try to replace them. Don't ask me how, though, because I don't know, Joshua says. <clears throat> he was the offensive coordinator at Arizona State before coming head coach at uh, Memphis. Okay, he seems like he'll be a pretty good offensive coordinator. But it's going to take a lot more than that to fix this mess. Why are people giving out missing offensive stats as if it's competition? Oh, boy! We have to give out something, Jay Gunn. That's all we got. Yeah, the competition is whack, but that's all we got. He never played against real comp. Oh, yeah. I think he has played against some real competition, but he like 0-7 against top 25. He's he going to be the best coach in the state if he locked Florida recruits back down. We will be back at least in the ACC hunt. He ain't going to lock nobody down. He ain't going to salvage his class. Some kids gone. They ain't coming back from Mike Norvell. I think Browns might be gone. FSU got problems. FSU need a big personality coach. I don't know if Ron is the right guy. Three years of pain. I say two to three years. I think for his, if he's that really good of an offense of mind, which is what I'm hoping, he might be a surprise. I hope. I, I, I hope. I hope he's successful as hell. But it, it's not going to happen for two years, at least. It's not going to happen for two years. We're not going to have to. He's not going to. He, he needs to get his guys in. Does, does, does that sound familiar? He need to get his guys in. 
The one good thing about his assistants is there are a lot of them in big five programs. Yeah, I heard that. Paint the end zone seemed kind of weird. Right. They paint the end zone, cut the grass. If Nobel calls the plays, how could we keep? Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, Brown's gone. If, if Norbell's an offensive minded like that, genius. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, Brown's gone. Brown's going to Ole Mills. Yeah. My Ole Miss, Ole Miss got a, Ole Miss got, got a fast quarterback that Florida State was trying to get. That dude, go, well, Ole Miss might do something. They drop money bags. He's 38, supposedly one of the best young minded offensive coaches in the country. Hope so. I heard that. I heard that. Uh, news for you, like man, you damn right. It, we were we over here looking at who the coach is when we got some bigger issues in the background. Talk about some. Oh, who's the coach? We got a lot of a lot of worse things going on that we don't even know about yet. Norville teams aren't that disciplined though. Always rank high in penalties. <laughs> I always think M. Cool I always think the high ranking penalties, I always think that's overrated. That's like something people this it's like a nitpicky thing. I'll explain. Cause back in the 90s, back in the nineties when Florida State was taking everybody to the woodshed, we was always the highest in penalties. So it's like it doesn't like cause we overpowered everybody with so much talent where penalties aren't we really who can you know? I think it's just a talking point. I think it's overrated, the uh, penalty thing. Of course, we so we, but when you have a lack of talent like we do, it shows. It's not overrated. We we don't have enough talent to overcompensate for the penalties. But when you have a lot of talent, it don't mean nothing. All right, what we at? Five and seven or six and six, man. Five and seven will be a probably a decent year for a first year. You will be hoping for a five and seven next season. With the way this class is going, you will be hoping for a five and seven. You don't want no, because you could easily get a three and. Uh, you could easily get a three and nine. I can see now Tiger whips our butt, and the sad thing he has too much respect for the university and players and smile. We better not play no USF. How's the AD going to justify giving Norville more time than Taggart? Oh, easy. The boosters. He ain't got to justify nothing to us. The athletic director don't have to, uh, Sean, he don't have to uh, uh, justify anything to us. He's got to make the boosters happy. That's how it is. When I, it's only Florida State like this. The other schools got, the other schools ain't got to kiss the boosters butt like that. They ain't got to like that because the ad men run the show. So I don't think really they really gotta justify anything. The fan base gonna be fighting amongst each other about that after 21 games. But if he's losing after 21 games, White Willie tag it. Right, Noli. White Willie tag it, man. Lateral. I, I I'm starting to think this is not even a lateral move. This might be like a a worse move. Like, oh lord. I gotta do my research on this guy. I did my research on Willie Taggart and I was happy. When, he, when uh, Willie Taggart first got hired, I did my research and I was like, wow. In about three years, this gonna be nice. Fans stupid, they too short-sighted. This guy, I gotta see what he can do at Memphis right now. I'm gonna look at his old old game, see what style he like to do with all that. And then I'll, then I'll see if I'm happy with it. It don't matter if I'm happy with it, we got him anyway. Ohio fumbles at the red zone. Ohio State in trouble because uh, 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 they quarterback injured a little bit. I still think Mike can turn things around more than Taggart. Yeah, we'll see. Norbert White. <laughs> White will tag it. We going to see. It is Alabama, Auburn, and several others rank high in penalties. Our president is about to retire at, is the, about to retire, is the booster president or AD has a job because no one wanted the job. Yeah. Right. That even a question, Sean? What what Sean say? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The worst year he had at Memphis is eight wins. Eh. That, that's AAC uh competition though. That's nice, but 
that's worse than Willie Taggart. Willie Taggart was like, he coached the USF and or Oregon's a better school, a bigger name, and plays more quality competition than Memphis. So, what's that really mean? Doesn't mean much. Look at Norbert's recruit class. They're ranked between 61 and 80 since he took over at Memphis. Ouch. Ouch. He better get some, hey, Norville better get some good recruiters around him. He better get a good staff. We will go 66-75 next year and make a bowl game only because our conference is weak as hell. Well, I don't know about that one. I don't know what to expect next season. I knew what I knew what kind to expect if we kept everything together. I don't know what to expect next year. It could totally fall. We could totally fall off the map. This is a first-year coach, man. I don't know. They seem to call more penalties these days too, especially on defense. Worried about injuries. Yeah, that's true. That's true. We need a new AD. That's what we need. Forget coach. We need an athletic director. Look at the bright side. We got our home run renaissance higher. It's the renaissance higher, y'all. Twenty percent. This dude might be sitting on six, seven million a year. With a with with, with what they call it, wet behind the ears. Breast milk on his breath. Seven million a year with breast milk on his breath. He runs a spread offense. Bro, Boosters always run a shoe, especially in Power 5 schools. Yeah, they do. I think we got the worst. We got some guard. We got some bad boosters, man. Yeah, we need a new athletic director. Yeah, you're right, Kenny. Uh, yeah, they do run the schools, but not to the level they run at Florida State. Not at this level. Like, my God. Big bucks say you take the pay and don't win quick. You out the door with a big buyout check. Yeah, that's all he gonna do. He can't lose. You can't lose with that buyout check. That's what Willie saw. You can't lose with that. They desperate too, so they probably give him a big buyout. He can't lose with. Oh God. He's from Texas, went to Central Arkansas, had been an O coordinator at Power 5, Arizona State. He ain't got no floor of the ties. This was desperate. This was a desperate hire. As long as we finish in top 15 for recruiting, we will be okay. But we better finish the top 15. I don't know. Yeah, the new AD and president will give him the support he needs. A person said, how can you Norville time and did not Willie time? I say he's white. Right. They're going to have to give him time. But yeah, I know what, you, I know what you're saying. It's a clown show. We're going to be okay and better. Yeah, but not right away. Do you understand what I'm saying, Elliot? We're going to be all right. And we, of course, we're going to get better with time. But it's going to be about two to three years. Are the Florida State fans going to go ballistic and be able to handle that? It's going to be two to three years. If the Bearcats were as tough as competition, then he better have won eight games. <laughs> the Cincinnati Bearcats. Bro, we could beat the Cincinnati Bearcats. It's like Alabama State or somebody. Boosters controlling the head coach is worse than Jerry Jones controlling the Cowboys players. Yep. I think it's FSU friendly. His contract is going to be more incentive based. Okay. Boosters. This is what happens when your team sucks. <laughs> These players suck, y'all. That's three years. We have uh, three coaches in four years. These players got three coaches fired. Well, Jimbo is left. Will he get uh, Jimbo? Saw his team was sucked, so he ran. We get the money for the coordinators? I doubt it. Beats by ace, I doubt it. The boosters, the boosters of Florida State only fork up cash to fire coaches. They don't fork up cash to get coaches in. We won't. They don't fork up cash to get uh, to get the assistance we need. Coaching makes a difference. So we gonna see. We gonna see y'all. Man, we still got 80 people in here. What time is it? 12, 11, 10, 9, 9 30 at night. We going about three hours. Hit that like button for me, please. War daddies and war mamas. Let me put his name in the NFL. What? Black man put his name in the NFL to get feedback. I can give, I got his feedback right here. <laughs> Black man, you, 
You're going to be washing towels and pumping Tom Brady's footballs. That's your feedback. No, legit, you playing? Are you serious? Oh, man, what is wrong with these kids? Just saw a pick of Novell rocking corn rolls back getting from, uh, when he was at Central Arkansas. <laughs> Everybody coach under, under Novell end up getting promotions. That's a great sign. Recruits are going and players currently on team are going to leave. Yeah, especially if what happened to Odell Huggins is true. Word spreads fast. Yeah, they probably would have heard about this before we did. They, they, they live in it. That dude said black men. The program sucks. Well, the administration is what sucks from the president down. That's why. Yep. That's where the real culture issue is. They don't get it. They don't get it. Haven't gotten it. It set us back a decade. Yep. A goddamn decade. We about to be the Miami Bummer Kings, man. I keep it cracking like a watermelon. You never seen it done like this shit, bitch. I ain't even get to talk about basketball. I'm going to get into basketball in my next video. Basketball, football, women's basketball. I'm going to get into most sports today. I was just going to talk about the issues of Florida State and the football program. Mike Norvell. Yeah, black men be on a practice squad. The model back in the day for FSU was athletes are better than yours. You're right. That's all it ever was. I bet Cincinnati would beat the brakes off this team. Really? Cincinnati? Maybe. <laughs> maybe. I ain't done my research enough. If you, maybe. Uh, Mike Norvell. Anybody know anything else about Mike Norvell that's interesting before I ride out? I'm still going to stay. I'm staying a little longer. Still got 80 people watching. Uh... So the Tigers won. So he agreed to terms. Breaking news. He agreed to deal with Florida State. Let me read. Let me read this. I think Wayne McGahey put this up. Miami Bummer Kings. Sources confirmed that Florida State has hired Memphis Mike Novell's 11th full-time head coach in program history. 38 years old. Has coached at Memphis for two years. 12-1 record in 2019. Oh, he's number 18, 12-1. That's not bad. That's actually pretty damn good. I got to give him respect words, though. The Tigers likely secured a spot in a Cotton Bowl. Oh, they beat number 20 Cincinnati. Yeah, we could. You're right. Yeah, we could beat Cincinnati. <laughs> They're number 20. Okay, so there you go. It's something positive. Uh, Memphis already has the most wins of any team in a single system season in a program history one game left to play wow okay okay that's still he's still a white he's still a willy a, a, a white willy tag he's still a willy tag 2.0 but i'm feeling a little yeah i'm not feeling really better because it's aac but it's better than i felt before Norvell was asked about fsu job saturday he didn't address the move deflecting comments to his team's victory the Tigers have one of the most potent offenses in college football. They're averaging 41 points. Yeah, but they only score eighth best in college football. Yeah, but they who they playing against? And they only they only score against Cincinnati. They only scored what 29 points. I'm not buying this offensive numbers thing. With Memphis reaching 10 wins this season, Norvell has tripled the number of 10 win seasons in Memphis history. Oh, so yeah, Memphis Memphis fans will be mad he leaving. The Tigers each year has been there. Norvell has continuously improved the Tigers. Okay. Well, he's going to need about three years to improve us. Uh, defense, his defense sucks. Number 33. Better than our defense. Yeah, I'm getting ready soon. I know. No, I, I'll just go. Uh, we'll go together. He worked at Arizona versus Arizona State. There you go. So there you go. Some tidbits on Mike Norvell. Not bad. Not bad numbers. Yeah, we probably lose. Yeah, we would lose Cincinnati. We, we lose in Memphis, too, then. I feel a little better. But uh, this Florida State, we shouldn't be hiring, like, unknowns. Oh. That delusion for me is gone. We hire, We got to hire unknowns. Nobody want to come here. Oh, Odell. Well, uh, who, Big O? Who's Big O? Barely made the bottom up right. Norvell need to bring in Josh Strong. Black men need to need feedback from TCC. 
Mike just hit the lottery. Win or lose. Yeah, he did. That's that is there. Yeah, that is the ACC, AAC, not ACC. Right. That's why I'm like, eh. even even when it tagged did when it tagged went ten and two. What well, in the MAC? I'm sorry, the American Athletic Conference. Willie, Willie Taggart went 10 and 2. So what's the big difference? Lesser competition. Willie Taggart was killing it. 10 and 2. With Quentin Flowers for like number one offense in the country. Remember that? Willie Taggart had the number one offense in the country with Quentin Flowers. Before he went to Oregon. He had the number one offense in the country. So it's just another up and comer. It's going it, that's never that's never had to rebuild a program. He gonna get paid good. He gonna be losing his first year. We know that. Every coach lose their first year. We gonna see what. Now the next thing we now we got a coach. Now we got a coach. So the next thing to look out for is watching the dumpster fire start spilling out players. So you gotta keep an eye on that transfer portal and keep an eye on this class. I think they still gonna decommit. Mike Norvell is not big enough to salvage. Not with a week to go. It's only a week to go in the early signing period. Uh, Odell. Odell might be leaving not because of Mike Norvell. Because of what happened. Because it's, it looks bad for Florida State. Florida State fans want him there. So, the, so the, the administration will be trying to keep Odell no matter what. But if Odell is like, screw y'all, I'm leaving. We know it, we know what's going on, don't we? we know, I, I gave y'all the information. Josh told me the best thing. Mike Norvell record 8-5, 10-3, 8-6, 12-1. left him a great program at Memphis. I'm not impressed. Yeah. Another AAC coach. Uh, Willie Taggart was an uh, uh, American athletic. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm so stupid, y'all. I didn't even realize AAC was American Athletic Conference. I will attack it. This is white will attack it 2.0. We just did a whole lateral move. How can people not see this? We got another American. Oh Lord. Deion Sanders would be that much of a bad difference, huh? Deion Sanders would be about much of a bad difference. I said Deion Sanders. Deion would be that much of a of a of a. I think it's about the same. Why did we not consider Jim Levitt? I don't think Jim Levitt want to be here. He left. Jim Levitt, I don't think want to be here. People are comparing him to Urban Meyer, at Utah. Yeah, I saw that dumbass M. Hands. He never had any power five experience while at Utah. That's that's a big leap. Right. This is gonna be a this is gonna be next year might be a disaster. We might next year next season, y'all, and I really believe this. I thought 2018 team was bad. I think next season might be the worst Florida State team we've ever seen. If 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 this transfer portal get hit up and we losing this all these impact dudes. Like would be in all these dudes, and we in this class tank. We might see the worst Florida State team in foot in, in Florida State history next season. I'm not. He might be a good coach, but it don't. It gotta be a good fit. He ain't got no Florida ties, no rebuilding experience. But we have to hire. We gotta have a coach. I'm not going to continue to bash Mike Norville. He'll be okay if he gets better. Yeah, I guess he needs to make the right hire. He got to. You got? I can't. You can see seven and five. Seven and five is a is a splash. If we go seven and five, I'm dancing in the street. I don't see that happening. Mike Norville still has a much better resume than Taggart. Uh, White Willie Taggart. Willie Taggart got promoted from AAC and went to Oregon. This guy ain't been promoted. He he went he going straight to Florida State. There ain't no better resume. Tiger Tiger went to Oregon. This guy ain't coach power five. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, we talked about it. 
No, the conference is the former Big East team. The conference USA teams. No bloody. I'm getting in here, Tally. Who did we get? Uh, Mike Norvell. What about you for coach? I can't coach nobody. J. Mar says you have a good coach and joy. Huh? Okay. Okay. All right, y'all. My kids telling me to hurry up. Get your ass on. Leave a like button. Boy, stop. I'll make more. I'll make more videos. I will be more educated and prepared next time for Mike Norville. Because I didn't really. I didn't know what to expect today with this clown show going on. My kid's birthday, so I got to go soon. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of walk-ons. Yep. Here's to get the players' tongue and skis. I think 66, 75. That would be a good. That would be a good year. We'll see. I'd be happy with five, seven, and five. In a rebuild, I've been happy with seven and five. I'm sick of this for like how many years? This is not Florida State, man. This is this is depressing. We happy with seven and five. Florida State has fell very low. Big Ten championship only game worth watching today. Blowouts everywhere else I watch. Peace. But yeah, y'all, thanks for joining Turn Tally Show. I will be, like I said, I will be selling merchandise, shirts, clothes, hats, no telling what else, whatever I come up with. Probably, probably start the next season. But I'm not going to, even in the off season, I'm still going to be making videos about FSU football news, sports. I'm not going to stop every week. Basketball, whatever it is. Um, making y'all laugh. We hired White Willie Tag, I'm sorry, Mark Norvell. <laughs> All the best to Mike Norvell. I hope he comes in and wins us some championships. Right, but I'm, a, I'm, I'm being very. I'm gonna sit back. I'm gonna support him no matter what. Right. Thanks, M. Cole Hands. Press it tomorrow. I'm gonna watch that too. Uh, I think Jeff Sims going too. All right. Thanks for y'all for showing th showing up, man. Pretty good crowd. Uh, thank y'all so much for supporting me. Do it, do it all, baby. No blood raw. Catch you next time. Peace out, y'all. Where we at? Play some music. Hold on. Play some music right out. Yep, so we got an A choice as a head coach. A choice as a head coach. No rebuilding experience. Came from the same conference as Willie Taggart. He's probably like our sixth to eighth choice. But we gotta put up, we gotta do what we do. I got about five subscribers from this. Thank y'all, man. Thanks, uh, Chris Burgess. Good crowd, man. Shout out to everybody that showed up. Those ribs. Will you flee? Yeah, I look, I look doorbell up. Thanks, no blood. Thanks for y'all showing up. I'll be back in about two days as usual. Yep. No nation, no blood wrong. Shout out to all you turn Teddy Holly. Get your cheap liquor, baby. Get your honey fried chicken now. Let me let me holler at Justin. Let me holler at Justin uh, Hamilton since he think he's slick. He see me leaving. He try to throw in some nonsense. Uh, Justin Hamilton, you say he ain't tagged. Taggart never had a winning season. Taggart went 7-5 in Oregon. That's a winning season. Taggart went 10-2 at, at USF for the first time in their history. 
That's a winning season with the number one offense in the country. Shut up. You're talking out your ass. Peace out, y'all. Turk Teddy Hornets. We in here. It's a war party. Boy, stop. Peace, y'all. Thank y'all for showing up. I'm out.